Hey, what's up guys? Hey, hey. <laughs> Ari does sponsorship, I wish. Eastern Europe fam in it So what's up? What's new? Hey Prussian, uh, good morning man, uh, what time is it there actually, like 6 or something? Seven thirty, yeah. All right. <sighs> when you're working out, your arms look great in the earlier stage of your life, right? Last time I drank blood, uh, it's pretty recent, actually, like two weeks ago, which is recent for me. What, can't you find anything in Morocco at all? Wait, no, of course not, uh, because of the religion. Oh, 
how much butter am I consuming? I actually recently found raw butter again. I hadn't had any in ages, really, really long time. So I've been eating a lot of that. Uh, it's just so nice. Uh, I guess I consume a lot more fat right now. Where to send tip and pictures for you to rate me? Uh, please, any tips, super chats, please use the stream elements linked, which is pinned in the comments. If you want to do ratings, then just please leave a donation there and email me the photos. And I can do that anonymously or also here publicly for people to rate. E email is go, go to my about page right here on YouTube. Uh, am I becoming healthier every year? I think you can't really become much healthier than me. Yeah. Well, ne nah, that's not true. That, not, that can't even be true. I, ju I just can't get any healthier than I am because I don't have any access to the proper food that I really should be eating. If I had access to what the elite has access to, or at the very least, like, wild organs and stuff, from, uh, yeah, well, from wild animals, seafood or land animals, that would be the most ideal way to eat. Yeah, so you can definitely, but uh, yeah, as far as I'm, as far as what I have available, there's no more leveling up here. After how many years you reach the full so-called health? Like, like free. What do I eat in a day now? I mostly eat a vegan diet nowadays. The reason I switched is because I watched Hench Herbivore's Miraculous Recovery and I understood that you have to be insanely healthy to be able to recover like that from the hospital. So it really changed my mind at last about vegan diets. Yeah, and meat lowers your vibrations also. Another reason.
Happy Sunday. Thanks for the music playlist. Chuga is an underrated genre. Yeah, I guess. It's not really unpopular, I wouldn't say, but yeah. Good morning from uh, CA, California, I guess. Preparing for my slave job. Very nice, man. I I miss I miss work. I want to I want to have a job also. Do I still listen to black metal? Nowadays I listen more to Mozart and Bach for the most part, actually. You're looking like a German football player. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, oh, by the way, people always ask me if I can recommend them something to watch. I finished watching the anime called Death Note. I think probably a lot of you have seen it, but uh, I strongly recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's freaking good. Uh, I remember people always telling me to watch it and I just never did because I wasn't really much into anime but that freaking show was really good but yeah only if you have nothing to do not that I generally recommend watching stupid stuff but um, if you just want to watch something then yeah Uh, well, the reason I watched it actually is because uh, somebody sent me the soundtrack, which was pretty good. Actually, the soundtrack was really good, it turned out. So music-wise, I already liked it. But then I was reading the top comment, and it said, I wish I could watch Death Note for the first time again. And I remember always thinking that about Breaking Bad, like, I wish I could watch it for the first time, you know? Because you have all of these impressions for the first time again, which is... Just uh, priceless. Like, you can never experience it again for the first time. Then I thought, hmm, if somebody really says that and so many people like that comment, there must be something to that show. Oh, yes, that was the, really the main thing that made me want to actually watch it. What are my thoughts on Kava? The crypto currency or what? 
Uh, I watched it subbed, of course. Yeah, Japanese with English subtitles. I'm 23, she's 29, can it work? Of course, she's gonna be lucky. She's a lucky girl. Every girl on earth wants to have a younger guy. Honest AF, I don't. Well, if you're honest, I guess that counts. Uh, Eddie documentary you recommended weeks ago. What was it about? Uh, probably, I probably watched it. Uh, something about raw meat evolution. I've made many, many videos about raw meat. I've answered every question about it. You probably just haven't seen the videos, but you can go on and give me your reasons if you want. That's okay. Uh, number one didn't appear, and number two is it kills pathogens and enables you to scavenge meat you wouldn't otherwise have been able to eat. Yes, uh, assuming that there are pathogens, you know, except once you realize that there are no pathogens, it doesn't make sense anymore. That's why you can also eat old meat, high meat, fermented meat. That's actually a thing that a lot of people eat. There's no reason to believe that fermented food is somehow magically bad all of a sudden. And the first reason of yours didn't show up, so maybe it was filtered out by YouTube. Uh, so I think all of us can only see the second one. Am I keeping up with vegan gains? Uh, no. Why? Did something happen or what? I've never watched this channel. Shows error 404 when I click on stream elements. Oh, oh. I may know the reason for that actually. Wait, let me check. Yeah, I changed something maybe. No, oh no, but no, it works for me, right? No, the link works. No, I, I changed one thing there, but I didn't think that that would cause it. Yeah, no, it's it's all my settings. No, it's just you then. Uh, somebody want me to say something about Rudolf Steiner? I don't know who that is. I can't say anything. I don't, I don't follow German people or whatever is going on there. Germany is a horrible country. I don't want anything to do with it. I try to distance myself from anything that has to do with it.
Today I thought to buy the same Adidas wear as you have. <laughs> buy it, it's pretty cool. I have eye circles since I was free and I'm, I'm not raised vegan. You don't have to be raised vegan to have eye circles. You can simply be uh, fed formula with soy or whatever ingredients. You can have, uh, you know, those things being inserted in your body, if you get what I mean. Uh, you can be, you could have been on antibiotics or some other medication. You could have been... Uh, God forbid, abused in some way, even if it's just stress, somehow emotionally. There's so many things that can cause it. Uh, Germany is horrible for many, many reasons. I mean, it's a police state, so-called state, like a police country. There's police on every corner. I mean, incredibly much is illegal. You can, you can be thrown in jail for calling somebody an idiot. Just anybody. Literally, you're not allowed to even say something bad about people anymore. Like, you can't express yourself fully whatsoever. You always got to watch out for the police because like even if you say one wrong thing you you get a fine or you go to jail and uh i mean I, I, the list is so incredibly long why it's such a horrible country Why you stopped working out several years ago? You were in better shape, I mean, bigger. Yeah, you know, you lift man-made metal in a man-made gym full of slaves. Blood flows to your muscles. You damage them, they repair. You use up your testosterone, all kinds of nutrients. You're super tired. And uh, all for what? Just to look bigger? It's just a stupid compensation. It's, it's useless. The only thing that you do at the end of the day is just decrease your lifespan. There's no point. I mean, it doesn't make you... It just makes it makes your life worse. It makes you unhealthier, you have less energy, lower testosterone. Everything becomes worse when you work out. I just got really sick of doing it, that's it. The only reason I even started back then uh, was to see what how much muscle you can gain by eating raw meat because i thought like what's the difference i wanted to compare it and then i just didn't stop but uh, i hardly did anything the last years anyway uh, super chat by jay where on the planet do you think they enlightened ones live uh the actually enlightened ones i believe live on some islands which are probably not even on the maps most certainly not on google maps or some mainstream maps maybe they have their own maps somewhere but I don't think it would be logical for them to display their own location on a map which is visible for the slaves. Basically impossible. There definitely must be some islands in the ocean which are not 
Actually, I'm pretty sure I've heard that there even are officially, and then probably some unofficially also, which are not on the maps. Maybe because they can't put all of them, maybe because some of them are too small, maybe just because of secrecy reasons. So yeah, it might as well be somewhere off the... I think it's probably between uh, Asia and the U uh, US, like America, South, North America. Like somewhere where Hawaii is. I think somewhere there, there's probably some islands, or at least one bigger one, which they don't show on the map. Or the, like that at least doesn't have some any name when you try to Google map find it. Uh, I think it probably doesn't show up at all. Um, you know, except if there's even more land which is even bigger which doesn't show up for us, that may also be the case. Who knows? When are you coming to New Zealand? That's funny because uh, a friend of mine is actually in New Zealand right now. He said that it's pretty crazy because uh, it's full of those people. Like, you know, like it's just full of them. Like he said he's never seen that in his life before. It's so strange there. Um, so, I don't know. Sounds pretty crazy. Will you visit Sofia, Bulgaria? Uh, I've been there many times already. I would have no reason to go back there. You should come to Melbourne. Lovely idea. What about Dubai? Uh, what about Dubai? What do you mean? Did I find good food in Sofia? Yes, there is an organic butcher. They have brain, liver, heart, all the stuff that you need. Uh, you can get raw butter also. I, I know that it's not an Aussie accent. I can't do it. Uh, but isn't that how you say it? Melbourne? Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, I saw that Hen Sherby were made a video. I'm gonna make a response about it. Oh, thanks for the big Aussie super chat. Uh, I got this uh, serious question. Mm, serious. To avoid pregnancy, is it wrong to have romance with my girlfriend in the back door if you know what i mean i understand what you mean do you think this is so this is degrading to the girl or insulting or can this be natural that's interesting um i, I i've never really experienced a girl who likes it i was thinking but yeah i've done that with literally yeah, I've done it with, yeah. Yeah, I've done it with every girl I've ever been with, actually, interestingly enough. Um, I don't 
think that any of them really like it in and of itself. I don't think that you're really supposed to because there's nothing that should be like pleasurable about it. Like, you know, ner there's no like nerve endings or whatever. However, I do know that they enjoy it because you yourself enjoy it. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, your question is basically... Hmm. I wonder why you want to avoid pregnancy anyway, but whatever. That's, that's your thing. Uh, or maybe she wants to. Um, it just, there's nothing. I mean, what does wrong mean? I mean, there's nothing wrong. If you both agree to it and you consent, whatever, who cares, right? If she, she wants that, uh, and you want it, I mean, why not? That's okay. Uh, I don't think that it's degrading, except if she sees it like it's degrading. Uh, if she wants you to have fun, so to speak, then uh, I'm sure that she will enjoy it. I mean, for a lot of girls, being intimate with a guy is making the guy happy. I'm not saying that it's always like that, but for a lot of women it is like that. So maybe that's just how she sees it. She wants you to be happy, so if you guys, for whatever reason, can't do anything else, or don't want to, then... Uh, I'm pretty sure that she's gonna be happy as long as you're happy and you like it. I mean, as far as natural goes, I mean, obviously it's not really made for that. Uh, that's, you know, that's, that's tricky to answer. It's not made, like, it's not the purpose of it, so... It's really hard to, in any way, call it natural, but uh, it's an option. Uh, but by the way, guys, ideally. If you send the super chat, I would prefer it if you send it through the stream elements pinned, uh, um, the, the pinned comment, if you can see it. Uh, it's just better for me because I get more out of it, but uh, either way, thank you. Uh, then there was a super chat by Comfy, or, well, there's no message, so it was his first time, so maybe he didn't know where to put the message. Uh, then it's again, okay. Hey, I'm sending here because stream lens doesn't work. Oh, okay, yeah. Send send email for me to send pics to it because I can't find it. Okay, sure. That's it. It's interesting how people can't find it. Okay, uh, so he will send the photos, and then there was a super chat by Miss Ande. Also the first one, what to do when body doesn't produce enough stomach acid anymore? I can't break, uh, I can't break food down anymore. I ate one, one and a half years raw beef when it got really bad. So you were eating raw beef for one and a half years and then it got really bad. And you start and you can't really produce um, enough stomach acid anymore. The question is though, what were you eating besides that? That's the biggest question here because it's otherwise a bit hard to answer seeing as I don't know how you got to that point because it probably wasn't only raw beef. If you would only be eating raw beef, I can't imagine that you would actually have any more, like any, any such problems. It's really close to impossible. Well, everything is possible nowadays with how messed up our bodies are, but still. Anyway, maybe you can give some extra information, but otherwise... Mm, like, there's nothing that you can magically eat to increase stomach acid, but what you can do is 
quit whatever is decreasing it or whatever decreases it in the first place, whatever is causing a problem, such as a vegan diet, obviously, which you weren't on, but that would be the case for a lot of people, like eating a plant-based diet. And then it's going to go back by itself because your body is going to adapt to whatever you eat. So if you eat something like pH neutral, like milk, it, it will kind of, the stomach acid will, it will neutralize, like, yeah, it will neutralize technically, slowly but surely, because it adapts to whatever you eat. And if you eat a vegan diet, because a lot of it is so alkaline, so to speak, arguably, then uh, again, you're going to, you, you, your body is going to think it, it's not eating its natural food anymore. It needs to now focus on trying to get the most out of these plants or whatever garbage you're eating, beyond meat grains and so on. So it's, the stomach acid is going to switch. Of course, if you would be eating, uh, uh, if you like scavenge meat, so eat some older meat, fresh meat, but all raw and so on, your stomach acid would stay as it naturally should be. So in your case, uh, let me see if you wrote anything else. You didn't. So uh, it's pretty hard to say. I can't imagine that you were eating raw beef and then your stomach acid got worse all of a sudden. Or, well, you said you don't produce enough. So is it like not strong enough or do you literally not produce enough stomach acid? That's also hard to understand. Is it really what you meant or did you kind of misspoke a little bit? And, and how do you know that you can't break down food anymore exactly? In what way does it show? What symptoms do you get? That's also what I'm wondering about. Yeah. So I have a few questions uh you said i ate only beef literally only beef like only muscle meat or what just like purely meat that's interesting uh it's interesting uh i mean hmm. so like completely zero carb keto that's also that's also kind of abnormal because there's always some kind of carbs in nature but then again that shouldn't really necessarily mess with the stomach acid, or would it? That's something that I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty deep topic. Uh, I can't really imagine how that could possibly mess with the stomach acid, not being able to produce enough. Who the hell knows, you know, biochemistry is such a deep and complicated topic. But let's just assume that that's not the problem. Yeah, it's really hard to say, though, how you possibly ended up in that spot then. But yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Because the thing is, if you're going to start eating more lemons or vinegar or something to try to digest the food, it's going to help. But you're, you're, going to be, be, you're going to be producing even less stomach acid then. Because your body is going to believe that you're getting the acid from a, an external source. So it's going to think, oh, I don't need it. It's like when guys inject testosterone and then their testicles shrink because they're not producing it themselves anymore. That can never end up good. So, of course, you need to get back to producing it by yourself, which for which I would always recommend to just eat uh, a lot of raw meat. You know, organs, obviously, also, and as fresh meat as possible. If you slaughter completely fresh, then they're still... Um, Glycogen, carbohydrates in the meat, muscle, liver, it's, it's full of sugar, essentially. But again, it shouldn't really mess with the stomach acid, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, I'm kind of lost here as to what, it, uh, what could possibly have caused it. Maybe somebody else has an idea. Uh, oh, you send me the pictures? Don't post them here. Okay, yeah, I won't. Sure. One second. I'm gonna look. Uh... Somebody said low stomach acid is caused by lack of sleep, stress, more stress, too much stress, maybe? Is it possible? Ah, interesting. Uh, interesting because. Ah, that's interesting because. <laughs> when you eat uh, zero carb, you your body is a lot more stressed. Your cortisol also rises because it's trying to deal with the stress. 
so uh, I wonder if that could be related somehow. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'm gonna check out this guy's photos. He wanted me to rate them. I'm not gonna show them because he wanted it to remain anonymous. Uh, last thing it was very beneficial for me. Um, nice, thank you. That's great to hear. So, hmm. Okay. Hey, you're only nine. Ah. I thought you you look a bit older, but. Uh, other than that, uh, whatever, doesn't matter anyway. Uh, I mean, firstly, I notice you have very good hair, but again, you're quite young, so yeah, but hopefully it stays that way. Uh, very good hair color also. Uh, um, like, you look pretty freaking good, man. Uh, uh, also, really nice blue eyes. I mean, blonde hair and blue eyes, that goes a long way, with women especially, like, that's... That's that's just like a magnet, like it really pulls them in. Uh, um, yeah, you also sent me good photos from many angles. Uh, I wonder why you didn't want those pictures to be shared, probably because of privacy reasons, whatever. Uh, also very good lips, like very good lip shape. Um, um, good filtrum length, also pretty like masculine, well-developed jaw. Not like perfect, I wouldn't say, but like... It's up there, you know, like 70-80% up there to perfection. Um, your nose is a little bit maybe big, but eh, but like it fits your face. So it doesn't really matter. You can't really take this kind of stuff out of context. I mean, generally I would say I thought that your nose looks a bit too big, but it fits your face. So I don't even think it would look, it, it would look good if it was smaller. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but... Uh, you have also very good, like, thick eyebrows. Um, I, pff, I, I'm going to give you, like, a... I think I'm going to give you, like, an 8, really. Yeah. Like, some of... Like, in if I would see the first photo only, I would have given you, like, a 6 or 7. But then, like, in the second photo, it brings out the eyes. And, uh, yeah, the blue eyes and the eyebrows. And the shape of your eyes is also very good, like... Almost pretty much like hunter eyes, like definitely almond shaped eyes, kind of uh, definitely the good, good, attractive kind of eyes. So, yeah, I think if you would, I don't know what you eat, but if you would stay on like a raw, if you're on a raw meat diet, or at least if you eat some raw meat liver, you're, you would probably stay very good looking until you're freaking 40s at least. I would, I would really do that. Like, if you're not on it yet, really start eating raw meat, and you're going to keep your looks. Uh, you have also very good skin. Like, you don't have, uh, you know, what a lot of people have nowadays, acne, whatever, blemishes, all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you an 8. Yeah. Eight, 8 is very good. Like, eight is, 8 is very high. Like, 8 out of 10. I know it's not a 10, but almost nobody is a 10. Uh, almost nobody is a 9 also. That basically doesn't exist. It's less than 1% of people on Earth. So eight is like very high, I would say. Oh, I can show pics. Oh, okay. Oh, he said I can show. Cool. Okay, then I'll show. Okay, yeah, I wonder what you guys think anyway. So it's cool that I can show them. All right, one second. Uh, let me, so this, uh, let me just adjust it a little bit. So this first photo, I would have given more like a six or... Seven, I thought, because like I didn't think it's like that good. Plus, he looks kind of a bit older on this one. But uh, then the next one, I mean, a lot better. Blue eyes, nice blonde hair. Like I said, I thought the nose is a tiny bit bigger, and like the what do you call it? The uh, I forget the name. Uh, the but I don't know. Uh, whatever the tip of the nose, but uh, you know, like good filter from life, good lips. I mean. The jaw is good. Uh, like it's you're pretty good looking. Like you're attractive, you know. And this photo also, like you have very good hair, uh, good forehead, forehead uh, size. Uh, like 
And you look good. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what... Let me check what, what you guys give him. Oh, somebody even gave you a 9. Very nice. 8 plus? 8.5? Wow. That's... Ah, uh, okay. Like, yeah, there you go, man. Yeah. Like, especially the last two photos are are good. Yeah, yeah, very good genetics. Uh, find some beautiful girl and make a lot of babies, man. Uh, especially now that you're young, I would really go for it very soon. Nice. Good. <laughs> Find a boyfriend and adopt. <laughs> What to do as an ugly female? Um, whatever you want to do. Uh, being an ugly female is a lot better than being an ugly guy. An ugly female can still get a lot of d dates or whatever, even find somebody to marry her. Whereas an ugly guy, that's that's bad. I missed the super chat. Oh, okay, that I guess that was when I had it open before. Oh yeah, all right, I see it. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, thanks for the super chat, uh, Brock E. coli. In British accents, if you may, no problem in it, it's where I'm from, England. Uh, if saunas are toxic, a gas chambers, how the fuck am I gonna detox myself from all these bloody microplastics and heavy metals? Slava Finlandia, in it. Lovely question, mate. Would love to answer it, but I'm not really sure, in it. I need a cup of tea with some caffeine to get me thinking. Mm. I hope I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not supposed to answer it in a British accent also. I was just supposed to read it, right? <laughs> but yeah, toxic gas chambers, uh, that's for sure true. It's one... The, the thing is also that a lot of the water is toxic, so you're breathing in the water vapor, uh, which obviously is bad, because just because of the water quality uh, that they always use in saunas. Uh, I guess you're in Finland, so you have a sauna at home, sure. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Um, why? Like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing with saunas. Besides, you know, like, the extreme heat is obviously bad for you. Is it going to kill you? Of course, you can do a sauna sometimes. I mean, it's just... Yeah. Uh, a guy that I know, actually I know a few people, they had a lot of success from their own experience, at least they felt a lot better, from doing those Ajunas recommended hot baths. Maybe try doing that instead, no? Wouldn't that be an option? Do you need to go into a sauna or do you not have a bathtub? Because a lot of people have a sauna, simply have a shower, because you do, like go shower afterwards. 
because of the sweat or you go jump in the snow but anyway they don't have a bathtub a lot of places don't have bathtubs nowadays uh, it's 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 a very modern thing to have showers everywhere if that's not an option hmm yeah that's that's interesting uh because if you're doing hot baths you're not gonna like just exactly what he says in the book with apple cider vinegar or whatever and the milk and whatnot to not make the uh, skin dry if you follow his exact protocol it's supposed to bring great benefits to your health and then you're not going to be inhaling the garbage that you would in a sauna you know besides even if the water was good in a sauna like perfect quality water again it's absolutely no abnormal to breathe in this this heavy smoggy air that you have in a sauna and it's not good for your lungs obviously again it's not going to kill you if you do that now and then it just depends like what are we talking about you want to do it like a few times a week you want to do it once a month is a sauna once a month really really going to do any actual damage to your body probably not so it, it just depends on how often we are talking and what kind of water you use and so on Um, I disagree with you on working out, all stress is bad, there's a difference between adrenaline and cortisol, cortisol is horrible for you, but in my understanding adrenaline is not, that's weird, because cortisol is there to actually heal you from the inflammation and the damage that's done, so cortisol is in every way good. I've never heard somebody say that cortisol is somehow bad for you. That's that's a first. I don't know where you learned that. Whereas adrenaline is the one that uh, gets your blood, uh, like your blood pumping, your heart pumping. So it pumps faster. That's adrenaline. That's why when you drink coffee, also you produce a lot of adrenaline, and you you people start shaking sometimes when it's too much adrenaline, for example, or when you're when when you know when there's like danger then a lot of adrenaline is pumping through the body and after the adrenaline toxic byproducts are created in the body if it's too much so if anything adrenaline is bad for you it's not bad in and of itself adrenaline is naturally there for you to survive but uh, too much adrenaline too often creates toxicity in the body uh, whereas cortisol heals the to like cortisol is the one that deals with the toxicity I, I don't know where you got this weird information from. How is that bad? You have no data to back that. How is what bad? I don't get it. Like data for what? You didn't name anything specific, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any data to back up what about adrenaline? That adrenaline makes your heart beat faster? The biochemistry 101. Like, I don't need to prove that. Just simple Google search. Yes, I know what all of that is. Uh, I've, I've researched that for years. I mean, what you're talking about is baby stuff, man. I understand biochemistry very well and what happens in the body. I mean, you come up with weird stuff here saying that cortisol is bad for you and adrenaline is good, like opposite talk. I never said that adrenaline is bad. I said that adrenaline is naturally needed for you because it's in a fight or flight mode situation. Otherwise, without adrenaline, it would be much more likely that you would die. But it, it's there is data to show that too much adrenaline in the body too often creates toxic byproducts. Of of course, too much adrenaline is not good for you. Like what? Like what is this talk even? That's common sense. Like it is known that too much stress for the body is bad. Like stress has never been seen as something healthy. Is that is that as if I'm the first guy to talk about this? This is just common sense. 
Uh, super chat by Sun. How how do you spell the name of the guy you said you have respect for? Richard D. Hall or something. I've never heard of him, but I'm interested. Ah, sure. I can type that. Richard Richard D. Hall. Uh, yes, uh, it's, it is like the only guy really that I, you know, respect online. He has a website called Rich Planet. He was banned from YouTube. Basically, like his videos are basically banned. He used to upload on YouTube. Uh, he still has a channel, but he almost never posts on there anymore because his stuff was censored. He has very good information about uh, UFOs, but besides that, about Unicorn, um, 911, also he has good stuff. Uh, at least thought-provoking, interesting stuff. He's a cool guy. Like, I really like listening to him. He's the only guy on the internet that I really actually like to watch and listen to. Norad's trying to say quarters are bad, adrenaline good to sum up, but you have looked at any studies. Uh, yes, I've looked at many studies, and I don't know who you mean, uh, like what neuroscientists. I mean, uh, a lot of neuroscientists are going to say the absolute opposite to each other. So one is going to say that's good, one is gonna, the other one is going to say that the other one is good. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know who you're talking about, what you're talking about. You don't name anything specific. It sounds like you're ignorant about this topic because you don't, you, you literally give no details. You just say it's good, bad. Your good, bad is baby talk like it doesn't say anything if you want to say something say something specific give some details just anything saying something is good or bad doesn't mean anything to me uh super chat by milk boy thanks man uh, those aussie dollars well horrible accent m anyway uh Hi, Gattis. My wife is abusive. I asked her to leave the home because of serious drug addiction. That's bad. And uh, now I'm caring for son alone. I still very much love her, and now I want her to come back. I don't want her to die. She is hanging around bad people. Any advice? Oh, man, that's, that's a very tough situation. Um, so your wife is drug addicted very seriously. That is very hard to get away from. I mean, your body gets biochemically addicted to drugs and to somehow get away from that is like, basically you almost have to like force slash love her. Like you have to force feed her raw animal organs because a lot of drug addictions are caused by a lot of mineral deficiencies in the brain and whatnot, like uh, zinc, lithium and all kinds of stuff like trace, trace minerals. But at the same time, you have to give her like incredibly much love because usually people who get into drugs are the ones who are biochemically sick. So biochemically sick can mean a lot of things. Usually it's eating unnatural food. So you're not producing the hormones that you need to, which the drugs give them, these feel-good hormones, which of course then leads to this addiction. Or they don't have any love in their lives, like their parents didn't love them, their husband doesn't love them. I'm not saying that that's the case, obviously, but uh, like some... It's, there's something very, there's a, really a big empty void in their bodies, which they need to then somehow fill, which, and then the answer is drugs. So, yeah, I don't know the backstory here, probably pointless for me to give this explanation anyway, maybe it helps you, hopefully in some way. You probably thought about this yourself already for a long time anyway. So, yeah, you, so, so you have this problem now where your son is with you, she's addicted to drugs, and she's hanging around with a lot of bad people, so I assume she's just not at all at home anymore, but you love her, which is understandable. It doesn't matter how messed up somebody gets, uh, you know, it's a lot of times not their fault anyway. So you're now trying to make the best out of this case scenario and you want her to come back. It's very hard, of course, because I don't know you, I don't know the exact situation of what's going on. Um, she's very abusive. Uh, you still had a child with her. Like, the thing is, like, uh, I mean, from my experience, like, like, uh, I need to block somebody. Uh, from my experience, there's no point, but it's like a, it's like a harsh answer, but 
I don't think that there's really any point to go on. Like, get, uh, like, if I was in that situation, like if, if somebody is abusive alone without any drug addiction already, there's no point. Of course, maybe the drug addiction is making her abusive. But if a girl or a guy is abusive in a relationship, very, very likely you're never going to fix that. I mean, it's incredibly unlikely. You would, she would have to like completely change her diet, hop on eating raw liver, raw brain, detox completely, you know. Maybe then there's a chance. But humans who are abusive... They're never really gonna change because they have such deep mental issues that, like, they they literally have a toxic body. Like, it's not like it's not like you know toxic like imaginary toxicity. It's literally toxicity, actual toxins, poisons in the body and in the brain. They have a toxic brain, which makes them abusive. So if you have the drug addiction on top of that, it's even worse. But again, you have a son together with her. And you don't want to take care of the son alone, of course, also. And uh, every child needs both of their parents. So I understand that. But is there really a point if she's abusive and drug addicted? It's hard. Like, really, my answer would be... But I don't know how the situation is. But, like, from what you have given me, I really don't think that there's a point when it's so far gone... But I get it, you love her, so you want to try it and make it work as much as you can. It just depends on how far it goes. Um, you know, don't, how, how bad is the abuse? Like, has she attacked you, actually? Has she actually literally physically harmed you? You know, then it's pointless, I would say. Is the abuse only verbal? Does she throw stuff at you? Like, how far did it actually go? I think that at some point, no matter what the situation is, even if you have 10 children with somebody, if the abuse gets to be so bad, you just have to cut ties with her. That's the only thing that I can make out of this, uh, what you have given me so far. Weight training boosts your hormones and gives you a healthy look. I don't know what you mean by healthy look. What kind of hormones does it boost? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Working out increases testosterone. <laughs> Based on what? Ah, uh, uh, it's you again. So you, you don't actually know what you're talking about. You just say stuff. Our ancestors were no nomads. They worked out every single day for hours. What do you mean? Most humans in history were not nomads, though. What ancestors? Like, where do you come from? Mongolia? Then, yes, I agree. If you're from Mongolia, your ancestors were nomads. If you're from Europe, your ancestors were not nomads. If you're from Asia, your ancestors were not nomads. If you're from Africa, they were not nomads, and so on. Like... 99, like over 90% of populations were not nomads whatsoever. And what do you mean that they worked out every single day for hours? There is no working out in nature. What does that even mean, man? You're talking such nonsense. It's crazy. Can you define what, what you mean by saying something is natural for humans? What is natural is what you're naturally... Well, it depends what we're talking about. Like what you're naturally made to do, what you're naturally made to eat. What you're naturally made to eat is what you crave. 
naturally, like only natural food. It's what you crave. So what humans crave for the most part is blood and raw meat. Um, so it depends. Like what you're naturally supposed to do, well, what you want to do. That's what you naturally are supposed to do. Like what is good for you and what you're naturally supposed to do is only what you want to do. Everything that's bad for you, you're not, you don't want to do it. It's very simple. It depends on what you mean exactly. I'm talking about ancestors hundreds of thousands of years ago, which you have no idea if they even existed. You don't even know how old the earth is, so you're talking about fairy tales, but okay, go on. We were nomads until last 10,000 years. Okay, no proof. Uh, fantasy stories again. When we started agriculture. Okay, yeah. You, Okay, yeah, uh, so nothing that you said has any proof. It's complete fairy tale beliefs. It's just meaningless to even read what you're saying. Are you religious? Is that like, is that, like, are you making fun of yourself? Because everything that you said so far is religious. Like, you religiously believe how old the earth is. You just believe that people were nomads religiously. Religiously just means without zero, with zero, <clears throat> with zero proof. You say uh, working out increases testosterone religiously, zero proof, just not for no reason. Adrenaline is good, cortisol is bad. Again, no reason religiously. Everything you said so far is religious. It's the same as believing in Jesus. What is backed by science? What do you mean science? <laughs> science is something that you can test and repeat. How can you test and repeat a belief of how old the earth is or how the humans were uh, nomads? That's not science. That's a religious belief. Literally by every definition. Science has to be repeatable and provable. You can't prove a belief. It sounds like the guy's religion is science, uh, except that it's not actual science at all, at all. Uh, for example, making fire is unnatural for humans, right? Because they invented it at one point. Right, there's no fire in nature, yeah. Uh, at some point, maybe there was um, a storm or whatever, and um, yeah, somehow fire was created. Or from heat, there was fire. Yeah, but uh, there's no need for fire in and of itself, except in cold climates. But... I guess you could assume that eventually people move to colder places and uh, along with fire. That That's all speculative. We have no idea. But yeah, naturally, in and of itself, there's no fire in nature, as such, obviously, which we know. We have to create fire. So humans are not created just like that with fire in their pockets. <laughs> not that there are pockets. Ha 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 ha, there is no fire in nature. Have you heard of volcanoes and lightning? Yeah. Yeah, lightning happens. And it sometimes it may ignite fire. There's no fire in nature. Where do you walk in nature? Where there is, where is there fire? And volcanoes, uh, as far as what we have learned, uh, developed over time. There, there's no, there was never a volcano, volcano as such. And anyway, that's you, you would never even get close to a volcano anyway. That's irrelevant. Yeah, it could cause a forest fire. It could cause... I'm saying there's... No, no tree is created with fire on it. Like, what do you not understand? Jesus, is this guy so dumb or is he joking? You can't walk around in nature and look, find fire. Fire has to be created. 
which means that there's naturally no fire. Like you're incredibly dense. Like I've never, I have met. Okay, I've met stupid people like you, but you are up there with one of the stupidest. Are you saying that lightning is not part of nature? Yes, lightning is a natural phenomena. It happens. But it may or may not hit a tree which would then may, may which then may or may not create fire. That's very rare, but it can happen. But there's no fire in nature. Jesus, are you so moronic? How do you not understand this? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna time you out because you're just trolling right now. If if you wanna have a like a serious discussion, that's okay. But if you if you're talking is such nonsense, there's no point. Most sex are toxic nowadays. Yeah, most are toxic and most sex that I've ever had uh, really uh, give me like um, yeah, just a bad feeling like it's for sure toxic. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Um, so, RSD, what is RSD, is that, that's not ruble, right? Oh, it's Serbian, Serbian dinar, oh cool. Uh, I got this, I have dark eye circles, but I sleep 8 to 10 hours every night, how to fix, so you definitely sleep enough, 8 to 10 is... Uh, enough for pretty much anybody. Also, why do you say all exercise is bad, even though humans do exercise nature hunting? I'll answer the first question first, how to fix the dark eye circles. It's it's hard. I don't know, obviously, what caused it. You obviously sleep enough. Uh, you need to get rid of all stress, uh, anything that produces adrenaline also, which uh, does cause dark eye circles. Coffee, tea... Uh, Exercise, you mentioned exercise, maybe you still exercise. Uh, exercise, you need to get rid of all, ex uh, you need to stop all exercise, at least for a while, if you want to get rid of dark eye circles. Um, any stressful jobs, stressful relationships, anything stressful, especially anything that produces adrenaline. Uh, that's just biochemistry, and yeah, the wor your our dark eye circles are going to get worse if you don't. Uh, as far as, if you do stop all of that, they will return to their natural, good-looking, uh, original state by themselves, as long as you eat uh, raw organs, you know, just collagen-rich foods, uh, just enough raw fat, uh, com it's, uh, you know, liver, vitamin A, a lot of vitamin A for the skin, uh, is going to completely return to its normal state. 
most important thing is vitamin A. Most important thing is eating liver and getting sunlight also. Vitamin A uh, works together with vitamin D. Yeah, that, that's it really. There's, that's it. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you don't exercise be and because that's the, that's the reason probably then that you have dark eye circles. So yeah, you say humans exercise in nature. So one thing should be clearly understood. Exercise has never been reported to happen in nature. There's also never been a reported case of an animal exercising or any human. That's because exercise, by definition of the word in the English language, is to to like to you know to exert yourself for no reason, like to exert yourself for no healthy reason, obviously to exert yourself just because somebody tells you to. So the problem with this is thinking that oh. I am now doing something which, you know, exerts my body, which I'm doing for no reason, because I'm a modern slave. And humans in nature could have possibly, potentially, had to run away from an animal, uh, had to carry back a very heavy animal back to the camp of the tribe. You know, it's possible that humans may have exerted themselves. But it's possible that some humans went through life never exerting themselves, living to 200 years. It's possible. It just depends on uh, how lucky you were, if you had to or if you didn't have to exert yourself. So taking something that could have potentially happened in nature to some people who were unlucky, unlucky to experience stress, and maybe they also got dark eye circles, doesn't mean that you, as a modern slave, have to imitate something that something unhealthy that happened in nature that's what that wasn't good you gotta you gotta understand look this is the best way to understand this you're a modern slave you go like a loser and lift man-made metal in a gym and your face expression is going to be like this oh i hate this i hate this i really want to stop but i gotta continue because i'm a stupid modern slave and i'm so insecure about my body oh no i need to continue but i hate it but i need to i need to <laughs> and then like Think about somebody in nature, they, they are carrying back, they're, they're all happy, oh, I'm a happy human being, natural, super euphoric, I love life. And then, oh, we hunt this animal. Yes, we hunted the animal. Um, which one of you here is the loser? You, you're the loser, you're going to carry it back to the tribe. We are going to stay healthy without dark eye circles. You're going to be the loser who's going to carry back the animals. Just because, whatever, maybe he has some genetic failure, he's not as beautiful as the others, he's going to be the loser. So now he, he's happy and he goes, his face expression changes to, well, guess what? You put on the animal on your back and it's mm, bad face expression. All of a sudden he doesn't like it and he has to carry it back and all the other guys are walking. Ah, we are the cool guys. We don't have to carry this animal back, but he has to. Uh, and he decreases his lifespan, creates dark eye circles, and he is the loser of the tribe who always now has to carry the animals back home. He is the loser. He lost so you, as a modern slave, are now imitating this loser in nature who had to do that. You understand? You are imitating slavery like a freaking idiot. And people don't get this. They imitate what is unhealthy, what could potentially happen in nature to the losers. And they think that they're doing something good. And that's exactly why I have no respect for modern humans, especially men. They're pathetic. They're disgusting. I can't stand them. It just, yeah, I want to just throw up on them. Blech. Blech. Okay. Uh, why not just work together to carry the animal? I, absolutely, I agree. And that may have happened. But again, the very the very leader is never going to do that. He may say, yeah, you guys carry the animal. Like, you do the hard work. That's, that's what I mean. Of course, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be one guy. Um, you hunt for the food uh, for a purpose, right, right. Uh, 
uh, why did you work out then? Uh, I said it before already. I start working out. Like I used to work out because I was insecure about my body, simply because I was skinny. Like I, I don't think that, the thing. That's the thing, though. That's the thing, though. Modern people, like myself, also when I was in my early twenties, believe that they need to work out because our bodies do look abnormal. You know, I agree that it's also abnormal how men look like nowadays. If you were, you would have optimal levels of testosterone. You have, you would have natural muscle mass anyway. You wouldn't even need to work out to achieve like a normal, physically strong-looking body, um, which I also noticed. And after I started eating raw meat, I thought like, oh, what if I start working out again because I had taken a year break? How much am I going to be able to like bench and stuff? So it was interesting. And then I just kind of continued. But eventually, I was hardly doing it until I stopped completely. And at the end, I really only lost like, I mean, maximum 70. Uh, not 70, other, other way around. I mean, I kept 70. I lost like... Maximum 30, I think even 20% of my muscle mass. So I think maybe because I eat raw meat, whatever the case, I didn't actually even lose what I had anyway. So I, I think for guys who still want to go to the gym and work out, I would just recommend work out for a year maximum and just stop. Like if you're going to eat raw meat and liver and stuff, you're going to re, uh, retain or how do you say, uh, just maintain 80% of the muscle mass that you have anyway. Really, there's no point in decreasing your lifespan and creating dark eye circles and pushing yourself every week for years and years. You're really not going to achieve anything. Once you reach right, the maximum deadlift, whatever, bench press, just stop it. You know, maybe, I don't know, go for a swim sometimes or something if you want to, like, maintain something, but uh, which, you know, you may, um, that may be possible that maybe humans in nature, like, swim and spearfish or something. Uh, you know, that, that may happen now and then, but yeah, there's no point. I think the misconception nowadays is thinking that like you become stronger or somehow better when you work out and you just don't. I, I, I don't think that there was anything at all beneficial about any workouts that I ever did. There's nothing good that I gained from it. Uh, if anything, I got slower and more abnormal than a human being naturally should be. And that's also the thing. Uh, look, at, look at animal bodies in nature. Like an ape has an insanely muscular body um, let me show you actually what I mean. Because um, um, there's these apes, maybe um, maybe some of you have seen this, apes without any... Um, apes without any hair. There's like this special kind of apes. I don't know if that's ab abnormality or not. But... Okay, this is, this is going to be a very good example of what I mean. Uh, Okay. So, whoops. So this is basically like a natural ape physique. I mean, insane amounts of muscles. You would have to take incredibly many steroids to look like that as a human, if you could even achieve that. Here's the thing. Apes hardly... They, they do eat meat, but not necessarily. They eat a lot of plants. And yet they climb... They, Basically, you got to understand that a human body naturally is not made to have in, insane amounts of muscles. The body, the heart has to beat a lot then, and that's why these guys die in their 40s, 50s. We we're not supposed to look like apes or gorillas or anything like that. Human beings are good, more so good at, we are, we are okay at running, we're not that good at running, but we, our best uh, skill is throwing. Like a human being, being a uh, weapon is the brain, not the muscles. And we are very good at throwing, so we can definitely create our own weapons and kill animals by throwing. And we could overpower apes quite easily because we can uh, create a lot of sharp objects and kill them even from afar. None of these animals can do that. And also, if you look at like a lion, lions have incredible muscle mass, but naturally, they don't need to work out or train. So what, what's happening nowadays is that human beings, I mean, let's, let, me, let me see if I can find a photo. Um, What can I compare it to? I mean, like, whatever. You already know what I mean anyway. I'm not even going to have to show it. Like, if you look at modern males, they just don't look like the ones that we had back in the day. You know, think about it. Let's say you're like 1 meter 90 tall, which is like 6 feet, 
six foot three or four, like I think six foot three, yeah. And you have like very big wrists, big bones, like why on earth would you then want to still work out? You know that you dominate 99% of males, you wouldn't need to, but when we nowadays have like short guys, very small hands, small wrists, all of that, it's like you need, you feel like you need to work out because you need to compensate so incredibly much. So it has a lot to do with terrible genetics and terrible food that we have today that everybody feels like they need to go to the gym and work out. And that's also the thing. And, uh, you know, if you look at gorillas, lions, apes, all of these animals who don't work out, they just eat some leaves or lions eat meat, but they don't really do anything besides walking or, you know, yeah, apes, they swing around. But uh, apes swing around, yeah, but gorillas don't do that. I mean, look at the freaking gorilla. They're naturally made to be like that. And humans are not naturally made to be like that. Yes, we are a lot smaller than we were. I agree with that. But bodybuilding isn't going to help. Best thing you can do is have children, feed them liver, breastfeed them for long, for long enough, and create strong children and create better generations of future humans instead of trying to cope and compensate in a gym. You're never going to achieve good genetics anyway that way. You're going to achieve good genetics by feeding your children good food and eating good food yourself, having good uh, SPERM and uh, your wife eating uh, organs and creating healthy and strong children. That's how you're going to succeed and create better genetics. Like, yeah, going to the gym is coping and compensating. It's trying to be who you're not. It's pointless. We're not supposed to be like that. Like, we're supposed to be strong with our bones like we have some muscle mass and we are good at throwing and that's how we hunt and we use our brains we think we are clever um completely sedentary yet Made animals are generally more sick and unhealthy. Yeah, but no animal is sedentary. Like, what do you mean by sedentary? No animal just lays literally all day. That doesn't even exist. What would be the point of your existence if you would just do nothing? There's no animal that I know of that does nothing. Every animal does something in its natural capacity, like what it needs to do. So, but humans don't do anything like that which is what you do in the gym, for example. There's never been a case of a human being doing anything like that. A sloth? Yeah, I don't know, you know. But even they move, right? And they like they eat food slowly. But you know, every animal does something, as far as I've seen. And, and even if there was an animal that didn't do anything, then that's what they're naturally supposed to do. <laughs> You, you, you're just supposed to do what you're naturally supposed to do. Nobody ever really had a problem figuring this out up until modern society. No animal in nature has a problem figuring out what they're naturally supposed to do. They just do what they want to do in everyday life. Oh, there was a super chat I didn't notice. Okay, so. Uh, thanks for the super chat, Night Tram 10. Do you think the next step in Project Blueprint is estrogen ter therapy? Expressive test is bad for the heart because doctors said so. Ah, excessive. What, what did I read there? Um, wait, did, did they tell him that it's bad or what do you mean? Of course it's bad, obviously, but... Uh, like, are his doctors telling him that it's bad? Because I don't follow the guy. I only review the videos. I don't know what is really going on in his life. But yeah, next step would be estrogen therapy. I mean, obviously, you're joking, right? But <laughs> he's... Um, I think that the case with Brian Johnson is that he uses these testosterone patches, which are possibly being turned into estrogen, just because... That could happen anyway. That's why bodybuilders, like steroid users, I shouldn't say bodybuilders, use uh, these drugs, which are 
supposed to stop the conversion of testosterone to estrogen, but I, I assume that he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't even know about it. And uh, just because his biochemistry is messed up in general anyway, I wouldn't be surprised that he is actually... Yeah, he's probably... It's probably even more so because of his vegan diet and everything, converting the testosterone into estrogen. Uh, he's, he, he does seem pretty estrogenic. Uh, Turtus move very slowly. Yeah, that's true. Turtus move very slowly. Yeah. But that is probably the main reason why turtles live so long, realistically. Well, that's the guy, the Chinese guy, who supposedly lived to 200 years. He said that you should move. What did he say? Move like a turtle, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, let me open that up. Uh, Okay, let's see. Uh, this was a guy who lived to 200 years, supposedly. Yeah, wait. Um, anyway, and uh, uh, there was a place where there was like a saying, uh, right? Ah, there it is, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, no. Ah, I thought that's it. Oh, yeah. Uh, keep a quiet heart, sit like a tortoise. Um, uh, yeah, I uh, walk like a, uh, like a pigeon, sleep like a dog. Uh, anyway, it's the screen is a little bit cut, but whatever. Anyway, that, that's what it says there. He so he was saying like to keep a heart quiet and sit like a turtle and sleep like a dog. Uh, he was just all about like a kind of a peaceful life, and he was two meters thirteen tall. Yeah, like I said. Which I guess contradicts the idea that tall people tall people don't live as long. Oh, uh, yes. One second. Hello, Ikbin Bakwiru. Why do you think humans find long nails off putting? Is it a modern thing or did they get shortened in nature as well through different means? Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> ich bin back. <laughs> hmm. Well, guys like long nails on. Women, kind of, I guess. Well, at least they don't dislike them. 
women have this thing that they always want long nails. Um, it's interesting. On a man, no. No. That's interesting, yeah. I don't think that long nails really would be very useful, naturally, though, realistically. Except if they were really strong, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's interesting. I, 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 yeah, I, it's hard to answer this question because I, I don't really know how it would be nature. Firstly, our hair, our bones, nails, everything would be a lot stronger in nature. But I don't think that they would be so strong that you would actually in any way use them as weapons, realistically. I mean, you, you could think like you would, you could possibly be, like let's say you climb or uh, you would be digging stuff. I think you would have nails for a lot of stuff and maybe they would like sharpen in a way, but it's not very realistic. I don't know though, how would you actually, what, how would you deal with long nails in nature? Like, or is there like really a length where it stops? The only thing that I can think of is that if you, if you would literally bite them off, but uh, it's an interesting question. Um, somebody said long nails is for fighting other humans. I don't know. They're just not really sharp, except if they would somehow sharpen. Uh, safe, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, I have thought about writing a book. Maybe we are supposed to create a tool to cut them using our environment. Hmm. Yeah, I can't also fully answer that, I gotta say. It's a tricky question. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Grind your nails against a rock. Maybe something like that was done. You should just ask like some tribes what they do. Probably they learned it from their ancestors. How does Brian Johnson not starve to death when all he eats is micronutrients depleted food and almost has no body fat? Do you think he cheats or that the supplements keep him alive? I don't think that he cheats because he said that he's incredibly religious about this blueprint thing. So, yeah, he's one of the few people who I don't think doesn't cheat on a vegan diet. or It's not really vegan, after the blood anyway. But, you know, whatever he's on, I don't think that he's cheating on a blueprint because I think he really, really believes in it. He even said that he wants took something too much and they right away saw it in the blood so they they would be seeing it in the blood test not realistic but why isn't he dying or getting well he's getting sick he's looking terrible but he's not dying because uh he's eating the highest possible quality food he can get probably like with almost no pesticides i assume i hope and uh he's only been doing it for how long now i don't think that it has been that long there's some vegans who really push veganism to years so, I don't think that he's been doing Blueprint for that long. Hasn't it only been like one or two years? That's easily doable, I would say. And Brian Johnson, Blueprint, how long? I don't, probably won't be able to find info. From two years... can't really see I don't think it has been that long that's the thing so um, not really surprising considering how short of a time he's been doing it he looks as terrible as he is supposed to be and as far as the supplements go 
I don't think that they really do very much. Uh, may, maybe if some of them somewhat work, he's prolonging his uh, def deficiencies, as in, uh, like, he's prolonging the side effects that he should be getting from the deficiency. So maybe gets like some, maybe some of it is somehow biochemically usable, but probably for a large part it isn't. So what we're going to see with Brian Johnson is that he's going to get sicker and sicker for sure. <laughs> it's not funny even. Uh, he's going to get a lot worse. Um, if he makes any stupid videos again, I'm going to keep reviewing him. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've reviewed four videos already. Uh, there was a super chat by Ken's. Is there a chance you will make a What I Eat in Day video from your perspective anytime soon? So yeah, I've been thinking about doing it for a while. Uh, is there a chance? For sure there is a chance. I, I It's just that I had this uh, song that I wanted to use for it. And I ha wanted to do something specific for the video. I just haven't been able to found, find the animal for that. So I'm kind of waiting for this chance to do that. I don't know if it will come anytime soon, though, unfortunately. Like, I didn't. I don't want to give much away, but I wanted to. Yeah, again, I'm not going to give anything away, but I wanted to do something specific with an animal for the video. If I won't get. If I won't find the animal anytime soon, which I think is going to be the problem, I, I could make a normal what I eat in the day video, yeah. It's not going to be very interesting, but sure, if you're curious what I eat nowadays. It's just the same as I used to, really there's nothing interesting, but I can. It's just like meat, fat, and fruit. There's nothing special there. I want to show something special, that's why I wanted to do something special for the video. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If you want me to make just a normal what I eat in the day video, then I for sure can do that. Uh, the biologic, biological age test they did on the Blueprint video. I've never tried them. I mean, it's, it's the guy's specific company. He offers it. Uh, he probably only offers it in the US anyway, I assume. Although, well, well, maybe you can send it in. But anyway, I don't know if how, how, how much I even believe in it. Because I don't remember what exactly he said. But I didn't really take the guy serious who was behind those tests. Because he said that the guy was sick and that could have interfered with the results. So I was wondering what the hell is he even measuring that being sick could interfere with these results. So basically, they just have these markers, probably, which you have to hit. And if you don't, that depends on how old you supposedly are biologically. But that's not really a way to measure somebody's biological age. I wouldn't agree with that. Uh, he would get healthier if he would continue with the sun's blood. Is he actually going to continue? If he is, then yeah, I don't think the sun is going to agree to that. Hopefully the sun sees my review and realizes that he was used. Can I review more Bim Hof videos? Sure, I, I would do that. Um, just... Uh, uh, give give me a good one. Uh, email me a good one. I'll do it. Uh, Paul Saladino. Yes, I think I saw he made an update of he what he eats in a day. I could do that, for example. Yeah. I should do that, maybe. Okay. Send me a good Wim Hof video. And maybe I'll check out the Pal Saladino one. Uh, yeah, maybe, sure. Yeah, I think so. 
uh, my email is this right there. Move to Russia, the US, or stay in Spain? Well, I won't, wouldn't recommend moving to the US. I mean, maybe if there's some specific reason for that, but I think that that's the country I would least recommend to anybody. Russia, I think, is actually a lot better, though it's very cold. If you, if you don't mind the cold, I, I would love to live in Russia. Honestly, no joke. I, I don't think I would like the cold very much, but I think I, I, think I would still tolerate it. Uh, Spain, Spain is pretty terrible food. It's pretty good weather. Don't really like the people there. I've been to Spain twice. None of the countries would really be on my top list. Uh, best European country to live in. Uh, I think it's something like. Bulgaria, maybe something, some something around there. <laughs> El would have beaten light if he was eating more meat. <laughs> Eaten, yeah, that's that's funny. <laughs> yeah, his diet was funny. The, the the show overall was pretty logical. The whole thing. Uh, about seeing the how long somebody is alive through a screen and that didn't make any sense at all. But I I ignored that. You know, it's just an anime. I didn't take it seriously. I, I still think it was very well made. Ah, uh, cool. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. How many hours do I sleep? Um, you know, like eight, seven, eight. Uh, um, last night I only slept six hours, uh, but uh, it's not the norm. I was watching some stupid video too late. Uh, what do I not like about people in Spain? Appearance wise? No, no, I didn't mean appearance at all. It's just. They're kind of aggressive, not polite. Not that I care about being polite. It's kind of slavery in a way, but I don't mean it in that way. They're just kind of kind of just like unhappy and miserable from my experience. Bo both of the times when I was there, it just seemed like something is always wrong. They're always kind of complaining. You know, Spanish people are known to be hot-blooded, which really just means that they're kind of biochemically aggressive always. Uh, whatever the reason. I've never been to Montenegro. I can't comment on it. Ah, Zigatube, you like Death Note too. That's cool. Nice. Do you think all your genders are somewhat interconnected? For example, they portray animals as cute, fluffy beings in Disney movies and at the same time promote compassion towards them while also saying that meat is unhealthy, anyways. Also, climate change. Absolutely. Of course, it, it would be ridiculous to believe that it's not connected. That's why I don't agree with people who say that it's all just coincidence and done by a lot of stupid people. I think that there are. For I think that for the most part, it has a lot to do with very stupid and brainwashed politicians, but there's also people who are literally behind the scenes, be, behind these agendas. Like They have an actual agenda to push, which they specifically work towards achieving. And there's a lot of secret societies involved. Uh, there's a CIA in the U.S., which basically has been proven with, uh, uh, yeah, it's been proven that they're, they they have completely infiltrated the media and they control our thoughts. Everything that Americans believe is brought to them by the CIA and these agents. 
and a lot of other secret societies. Uh, for sure, there are speci specific people who are in charge, who have an agenda, and they specifically program people to see animals in a certain way and to try to uh, tell us that uh, you know, there are these innocent beings and that at the same time we should care about them. Everything that you said, definitely it's an agenda. There's a specific thought behind it. It's not coincidence. Like a lot of stuff, like um, like I'm, I'm sometimes curious about Elon Musk, for example. I can't tell what the hell, hell is wrong with that guy. Like as far as I'm concerned, Elon Musk is a stupid guy who was brainwashed by science fiction movies, who then was promoted by the elite and they helped him to get rich. So he is now helping them indirectly without realizing it to create all of these robots for the agenda. So they're just he's kind of just like a useful tool. I don't think that he himself is actually like part of some secret society or whatever. Too much of the stuff that he says is too contradictory. Plus there's videos of him eating bread and potatoes and everything. He's too too unaware, too much on a slave diet to be part of the elite. So yeah, there's a lot of people who are just dumb and are being used as tools to further their agenda. And then there's the actual clever people who created these agendas, who do exactly what you said in the super chat tip. Um, super chat by Milk Boy. Got this. Have you heard of these mRNA VAX being put into animals? What do you think? Yes, of course, I've heard about it. They are doing it to pigs a lot, cows also in many countries. What do I think about it? Well, if we can believe this documentary, uh, what was the documentary called? Uh, sound of, no, what was it called? Wait, sound? No, it wasn't sound. Wait, I'm going to find it. Uh, 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 it's, it was called Watch the Water. Uh, not promoting it, it's just this documentary out there, whatever. Um, yeah, so what I learned from the documentary, it's possible that it's... If that stuff is would be literally poison, as it says in the documentary, I have no idea, but that's what they say, um, I would be very careful, because then, then you could be literally risking eating literal poison. In the documentary, he, he said that it's snake poison. Um... But, you know, even if it's anything close to that, it would be incredibly dangerous to, if it's anything like that, like what we got, then, uh, like the fat and the organs and everything, you would be risking really severe food poisoning. I think at some point we're going to end up with so sick animals. I don't even know if you will be able to eat raw meat at all. Maybe you will just you will have to cook the meat because you will have to try try to destroy the poison. I think I think eventually over ninety percent of food will be so poisonous you won't even be able to eat muscle meat raw. And maybe I'm overreacting. You can't even eat most organs. Like I think over ninety percent of organs are toxic, and over ninety percent of fat is toxic. It causes food poisoning, and then there's just some lean muscle meat which you can eat raw, and maybe you get lucky and you can eat organs raw. But yeah, so I, I can't imagine how they could somehow be good. Really, I can't imagine how. It, it's, I think it's a really stupid idea that they started doing that. Would it end up in the muscles too? Well, in the spot where it was injected, of course. That's the thing. That's why a lot of people don't have symptoms. It stayed. It stayed there on the spot. I won't show the spot, but you know which spot I mean. That's the, that's the people who got lucky, the ones who who got it stuck there. Well,
do you believe food concerns or some concerns make money by making people sick? And that would be a pretty crazy agenda. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, well, the people who are behind the unicorn juice, I'm talking about something completely fictional right now, they they definitely are part of an agenda. You can't you can't coincidentally create that. It's impossible, basically. Uh, yeah, they are working to make people sick. Yeah, yeah, I think they probably work together. Yesterday, liver tasted like how grass smells, kind of. Is this normal? I didn't get sick or anything. Uh, I think it's normal. Uh, sheep, sheep uh, liver also tastes kind of like... What do you mean, like, how grass smells, kind of? It sounds normal. The juice is also a hydrogel, which can be open for frequencies. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's possible. Do I still do face ratings? Uh, yes, uh, we did it actually before at the start of the stream. Uh, feel free, if you like to, send me a tip and a photo, email me photo. Elon Musk has a feminist features. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I guess. Uh, I think Elon Musk looks pretty good uh, overall, especially for his age. He probably does something with his money to try to somehow reverse aging. And he most definitely eats meat. Uh, can you email me a photo if you already sent me money? Um, what did you, when did you send me something? Every time I eat specific gum I have to sneeze lately. Do you think I developed an allergy or messed up my gut by chewing it? Uh, a gum? A specific gum? A gum? Sneezing is a form of your... is a detoxification method of your body? To quickly get rid of something, whatever has entered your system. That's why we react uh, with sneezing to allergies, for example. So it could only be that there's something. I mean, gum obviously has tons of additives. So it could be that just one of these additives your body is reacting allergic to. Like it's a foreign uh, inv invader. For which, like, yeah, it's normal that your body then sneezes. Makes makes a lot of sense to me. Um, if you if you didn't you didn't mess up your gut, probably you simply need to stop chewing it, and it will be all fine. It makes a lot of sense. You send me a super chat, yeah, but. Uh, a super chat is specifically, what did you say before? I mean, a sup how much was a super chat? I mean, a super chat is specifically for me to read a super chat. If you want me to re do a rating, that's something else. 
Because basically, not only am I giving you my expert opinion, but also um, I can display the photo and everybody else can give you a rating. So it's a one in a lifetime opportunity because it's being rated by me and by a lot of people who are into black pill who understand exactly, you know, like how you're supposed to look like and stuff. So it's pretty freaking good deal, I would say. Oh, speaking of Andrew Tate. Did you see the video of uh, of the lawyer giving out the text that he wrote to the girl that he was trying to lure? You know what I mean? Wait. Wait, what was it? Uh, Andrew Tate text. Is this video censored or something? What the hell? There, there was like new videos. Strange, I can't find it anymore. Oh, there it is. Um. Um, how much for a rate? Uh, tip me on stream elements like 5 euros and I'll do it. It's very cheap. I think it's the cheapest you will find anywhere. And it's live. And you get extra opinions from other people. So really, there's nothing to complain about. But yeah, you you know you know you know this guy who read like this lawyer guy who read the texts from him. It was pretty interesting actually. I watched it. Here is fraud. It was shown the fact that the injured person U A and in this. What do we do if I if we fall in love and I kidnap you and bring you to Bucharest? <laughs> and she says, I don't think it's kidnapping if I want to come. So she they're vulnerable to begin with because they want to be next to this greatness, right? First, I have to see you, see in your eyes that you will never be able to live without me. So you see, see how this manipulation is? And these are much younger women. This reminds me of uh, uh, palm trees and um, what was it called? Uh, of the movie, like the lover boy tactic, uh, palm trees and power lines, very similar. It basically just takes stuff what Andrew Tate was writing with this girl who was supposedly a lot younger. That's how he got all these girls to come to Romania. So he tells them that she's going to be the only one for them, but there's some other women, then they come, and then he manipulates in them into staying with him. And, and then I have he actually just uses them to create PORN. Uh, then I can or some similar you stuff. To show you everything. Only fence is the same thing that's also PORN. Uh bring a ring when you come that's what she says you can be loving enough to be a wife to always be near me wherever i go talk to zero men besides me ride or die you have to move to romania with me to keep an eye on you you are mine don't forget that and act like it we will be together soon first of all ladies ladies any guy that talks to you like this um they need to be flushed down the toilet make so much money i have to hide what i really do when oh yeah that, that's also interesting for a long time i did this with a team of girls who worked on video chat the company was fake yes yes but that's how i wash my dirty money after that men started to be jealous and started asking how i can start a video chat business they will never do this because they 
are losers. They're losers. But they like the idea. So I started charging men to teach them. Dudes, he's full of shit. He's 100% full of shit. And these are text messages between he and you or UA. But they like the idea. So I started charging men to teach them. That's what those videos are about. It's all a cover. You understand? Now it goes deeper. Some of the girls uh, work for me. I use them to do other things. To move money or illegal things. Documents. Yeah, okay. I think uh, it's pretty clear. I wonder how the whole thing is going to end up with him. Uh, I, it's pretty stupid that he was uh, talking about all of this uh, on online with some random girl and giving out all of this information. Uh, 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 paste bin link. Uh, no, email me the question. Uh, uh, zero. Yeah. Email would be better. Uh, super chat by Lime. How do you mention the future of your children? Future of my children ideally would be that they're eating uh, raw meat, obviously. Um, that they don't go to school, hopefully. Hopefully a way to homeschool or something, something else. Uh, there's ways around that. Um, it's not even necessarily... I, I think school is really bad. That's not even necessarily that. It's just that in other countries you need to get, to get uh, uh, you know, injected with something, which I'm for, but not in this case. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know how to put it, but yeah. I, just, just for that reason alone, I wouldn't want that. But yeah, school in general is also garbage. Um, I mean, what else? Yeah, just, you know, live as healthy natural life as possible get sunlight and so on because you know what, what i promote what i promote for everybody else is what i would want for my children of course isn't rating someone's face a bit rude i don't think so um, not by the definition of rude what is rude the definition of rude is offensively impolite or bad-mannered having uh, yeah, that's not rude at all. I think what you mean is if you're bad looking and then somebody says like you're a free, it sounds rude because you don't want to hear that. Nobody really wants to hear that. Human beings generally get offended when it comes to their looks because our looks are our body, bodies which define us. So... It's like, it's like when you meet a girl as a guy, or other way around also, and um, you in any way imply that you find her unattractive, she's going to freak out, uh, and she's not going to want to be with you. Whereas if you say that she's attractive, she's going to be all over you, cause, not necessarily because of that, but if you're attractive yourself, obviously. Because uh, women especially, they, they love compliments. Like The way you can get the woman to automatically be interested if you, is if you give her a lot of compliments. Because we care about our looks so much. So I get it, but yeah, it's not rude in and of itself. Hard to find a nice woman in USA, so many divorce, blah, blah, blah. When I do find someone nice, I get paranoid. What does she really want from me? 
Yeah, I can understand uh, American women have a different mentality because of how fake they are. But not just the women, human beings in general in the U.S. Everybody except for like one or two people that I've met, like all Americans, were so fake. I mean, it, it was disgusting. They're, they're literally afraid to express their opinions or their emotions. They always lie. They always put on a fake smile. I mean, literally... I would have liked to just punch 99% of the people that I met there. I think Americans really deserve like a big fat European punch in their freaking mouths and their nose. <laughs> just so they really like wake up. Like what the hell are you doing? They need like an Eastern European kick in the face. Because uh, yeah, they're, it's really, they're, I, I can't stand them. I really can't stand being around Americans. Like it's, it's disgusting people for the most part. One of the only cool people was J John from Florida. That guy was very cool. John from Florida was different. He was very different, though. He grew up completely differently. Yeah. Much more surrounded by nature, not with the stupid culture that they have there. Uh, where can you find my email? Go to my channel and click on About in my About page. There, there it says email. Derek Nance also. Yes, good point. For sure, sure. Derek Nance also, very, very different, uh, can't compare it to, he's not at all like an American, very different mentality. I, I, will, I will say something, he did talk behind my back, which is typical um, among Americans. He does have that, I, I do have to unfortunately say, after I met him for the first time and left him, later I had to hear, which always happens with Americans, later online I had to hear what he had to say about me. He didn't say it to my face, because Americans can't say anything to your face. They only talk behind your back. And that's disgusting. It's disgusting behavior. It's weak behavior. It's, it's a loser behavior when you can't say something to somebody's face. Uh, it's, it's unmanly behavior. Um, Europeans are like that in some places, but not Eastern Europeans. Eastern Europeans will, will usually, at least quite often, more often than Americans, say stuff straight to your face, which is how I am. Um, and so Derek Nance also had that, which is sad. I, um, he's still a cool guy, but uh, yeah. I, I won't say what he said about me. I just heard it uh, from uh, through other people. And uh, I've had this many times. Like I've had uh, meetings in the U.S. I meet, meet up with people. Uh, all cool. Like, oh, hey, I love your videos. Always the same thing. Hey, I love your videos. Cool. Keep up the good work. Yeah, always the same thing. Then, like, they say bye, maybe they bring some raw meat, something, we have a good time, play some frisbee, whatever, listen to some music, talk about nature. Uh, one week later, worst guy I ever met, uh, something like, he's not at all what I th how I thought. Or, no, okay, that's, that wouldn't even be bad. They don't even say that. I, I, I just made it up. But they, uh, they have said, uh, like, they didn't say worst guy I ever met, but he said, like, oh, the guy, I don't know what the, f this one guy said, like, Oh, he doesn't even eat raw meat. He doesn't. He doesn't. He only eats meat from the store. He doesn't eat wild animals. Like, where the hell can I get wild animals while I'm traveling? But like, whatever they can find, they say something bad behind my back, and that that's terrible, weak mentality, like weak behavior. Like, if you don't like something, you come up, you can say it to me. That's okay. I, I don't care. Just say if you don't like me, or I, don't, I really don't care. It doesn't offend me. But they're like just like so afraid to say th something to your face. So you always have to hear about it. Uh, afterwards online. That, that's how it was with Derek Nance also, unfortunately. Maybe they don't want to ruin the vibe. Yeah, yeah but again, it's weakness. Uh, who cares? What does it matter, man? That's like saying if I go to a vegan event, I don't want to ruin the vibe about like I want I don't want to ruin the vibe in the at the vegan event if I draw a meter or something. You you say what you want to do, you do what you want to do, you express yourself whenever you want to. Doesn't matter what somebody's gonna think about you or what vibe is gonna be ruined.
if you're a happy person in America, everyone wants to destroy you. I've never witnessed this in other parts of the world. It's interesting. Kind of seems true, yeah, in a way at least. If you're happy, a fun person, be around in most countries. Others want you to be uh, be with you and celebrate with, uh, or be involved. Yeah, 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 exactly right. Thank you for convincing me not moving to America. Oh man, I, I would I would definitely never recommend anybody to move to the U.S. I think if you live there already, you know, just make the best out of it. I don't think that you necessarily have to leave. Maybe it could be better. Depends. Depends on what you want to do in life. You can definitely make some... If you have the money, like if you live in some good natural place, off-grid, whatever, Colorado, somewhere, yeah, you can definitely make, have a good life. It's just that you have to... Then again... If you want friends and you want people to trust and rely on, if you want to trust anybody besides your family, it's going to be hard because you can't trust Americans, really. They're very backstabbing people. If you have a family and you can create a fam big family, then go for it. Like live in Utah or something uh, with cool people. A good, good, good family. I think that's doable. If you want to actually make new friends, I think it's going to be hard in the U.S., but then I would look outside in a different country. But then again, a lot of countries are pretty messed up still. I think in the U.S. is pretty much the worst. Uh, did I go to Oregon? No, I did not. I was in North California. That's the closest I got to that place. Which country is the best people in Europe? Depends on what you mean by best, but... Uh... I kind of like Bulgarian people, sort of. They're just, they're just kind of straight up, no BS. Yeah, I like Georgian people, I also liked a lot. I got into three, three fights in Georgia, which I liked, because the people there don't take any SHIT. They, they really stand up for what they believe, and they don't... Like, they're very different to Americans, like, very different. Uh, Georgia is technically part of Europe. It's, it's kind of in Asia, but it's like Euro, Euro, Asia, Eurasia. Uh, they come to Western Europe too, which makes me angry. Hmm. Well, and then you also have the American culture, the movies and everything that's exported out to all of the other countries, which also, of course, influence people quite tremendously, quite How about living in Thailand? Um, never been there. Could be good. Good weather, probably. Although, maybe a bit too hot. But if you like it. I don't know. I still definitely want to go to Thailand someday. It would be nice. I want to go to... I want to go to... Thailand, Brazil... Um, Mongolia would be cool. Russia? No, Russia. Russia I want to go, actually, more than anything. Russia is my number one goal. Um, 
China would be cool also, maybe. Nah, never mind. It's so bad there with the authoritarian government. Maybe if the changes, but it's not going to. Ah, Russia just seems cool. Like there's no real reason. Um, super chat by Joy. Can you explain why one and one plus one equals two is not a fact? If you have one tree and another tree next to it, you have two trees. No, I debated someone. Right. So um, that's the thing. Uh, Math in and of itself is man-made, so it cannot be a fact, obviously, because a fact is something you sense. So, for example, if you, have, if you with this other human being, you're standing there, and you, you say there's two trees, uh, like, what would what, you say? One tree and another tree next to it, you have two trees, right? So, you, you say there's this tree, which looks like that, and there's another tree of the same species. So, there's two trees of the... Uh, of the same species. That is a fact because both of you humans are sensing it with your eyes. Obviously, you're expressing it through language, but it, it, as far as language goes, as far as we can uh, communicate through language, it is a fact that there's these two trees. The reason math cannot be a fact is because math is something that you communicate uh, through math. Um, uh, through these man-made uh, numbers, and uh, you have to understand what it even means. So you have to learn how one is writ written, um, then you have to learn how two is written, what the equal sign means, what the plus sign means, and the only way that you can do that is by somebody else learning the same thing, which usually happens in school nowadays, and then you can both communicate through math, and you can now understand that it says one plus one equals two, Oh, yes, I understand. So in my mind, I then imagine one plus one. So it's like trees, for example, or one car plus another car equals two cars. Oh, okay. So that's kind of what we learn as children. And that's how we lear slowly learn math. But it cannot in any way be a fact because a fact can only be something that you can sense. And it cannot be something that you transmit or communicate through language to another human being which is the only thing that you can do through math. You can only write this to somebody, they can read it, or you can read it in a, like a school book uh, in, in, in math in, in, when you're taking the lesson. Your teacher can tell you. But it, you have to learn the math language firstly. And anything that we learn by language cannot be a fact anyway. Anything that we learn, your know, math is kind of a language on its own. I, I, I don't think I can put it really any other way. It just cannot be any effect by the definition of the word. Effect is, can only be something that you can sense yourself, which you can't. Because, you know, the, the, like, if we specifically talk about these symbols, because the symbol two, like, you know, we know how to write two, right? But in, in Chinese, for example, it, it wouldn't be like that, right? I think so. I don't, I don't think they use those kind of numbers. Or, you know, in... in uh, in Greece, you also wouldn't use those kind of numbers, I'm pretty sure, right? Do they? I don't, I don't think so. I'm not, actually, I'm not sure. Definitely use a different alphabet. And, uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter, right? Like a 2 could be a, te a 10 or whatever the hell. Our 2 could be a schmel, a blel, whatever. You can make up whatever the words. It doesn't matter. It is just that you learned that that's how a 2 looks like, which cannot be a fact because it's a belief. You believe that this is 1, but it could be 8. You know, we could have thought that that's an eight. It's just it's just man-made symbols. It has no freaking natural meaning whatsoever. So something so incredibly man-made, which you have to believe in, cannot in any way be a fact. It's just impossible. That's it. I can't put it any other way. Uh, you said, from nature's point of view, there is not two trees, but just trees. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Or are you talking to somebody else? It, yeah, so it's your human perception that you want to single out these two trees and give them a category. So it's your human mind which creates this idea. Um, the reason you would do that is, for example, if you don't talk about trees, there could be true lions and you're afraid of the lions. So like you look at the other tribe, let's say that's how it used to be without language. They are further away, they don't see them, you go look, and you signal two. 
Yeah, with your fingers, it's two lions. We wouldn't say the words two because we don't have any language in nature, but it would be a good way to communicate as to how many enemies there are. Yeah, yeah counting your kids also, you know, whatever, just stuff like that. Uh, super chat by zero. I sent you an email. Subject is acne. Uh, okay. I don't really want to read a super long email about acne, though. Well, let's see how long it is. Uh. I don't really want to read a like a less than two dollar super chat about acne, such a long text. I think that's like it doesn't really make sense. It almost like that's almost like a consultation for me. I do consultations for two hundred dollars an hour. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna read like the first two sentences. Uh, no offense to you, but I don't. I, it's just not worth it for me because it's gonna be too long. Uh, I watched your videos with acne, many others too, and tried almost everything. Started eating tons of eggs, scrambled meat, butter, low carb, but running says blah 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 blah. It's too long, man. I, like that's also like a consultation almost. Um. So you say your acne. Disappears during summer. I say vitamin D was low. Um, okay. Um, um, right. Uh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, I mean, in short, uh, don't use vitamin D supplements. They are toxic. They're going to produce even more acne because acne is pus coming out of your skin. It's you detoxing for your skin. Vitamin D supplements are yeah, literally poisons, which you will have to detox even more. Um, start eating uh, brain. Start eating animal fat if you want vitamin D, but ideally go into the sun. The reason your acne goes away in summer when you sunbathe is because acne, uh, the sun heals the skin in general. The sun repairs your skin. The, the sun makes your skin look younger. Uh, the sun uh, repairs skin damage. Like um, if you have acne scars, for example, from the past, or if you have any kind of scars, the sun heals your skin overall in general. It always makes it better. Uh, that's why it also gets rid of the acne even. It can, it's so magical that it can even do that. Other than that... Start eating liver, vitamin A, your acne is going to go away. Just switch on a raw meat diet, eat a lot of liver, brain. It's impossible to have acne. Absolutely impossible. Impossible. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It cannot happen. You just don't eat any dairy also or anything. Uh, super chat by Sun Circles. How's the family? Hope wife and child are healthy. Uh, how's the family of wife and child are healthy? There's no child. Uh, I don't have a wife. Well, actually, I guess I technically actually do, but <laughs> that doesn't count. Uh, uh, hopefully that one is doing uh, very bad. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so yeah, I, I understand what you mean, but I'm, I'm, I'm not married. Well, I, I think I am officially or something, but, uh, I, probably not anymore. I don't know, but, uh, um, uh, yeah, so I, I know who you mean, uh, everything is fine, uh, thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, yes, I did look uh, in stream element. Speaking of fake people, one time I recorded a friend of mine shit-talking a guy nobody really likes and sent it to the guy. 
The backstabbing has been going on for months already and we still did stuff with him which made zero sense to me. Now he is gone. Huh. I gotta re I gotta reread that. It's, I was listening to it, but it sounded a little bit complicated. Um, um, all right so you said uh, a recorded friend of mine talking uh, like talking bad about a guy nobody really likes the, and and send it to the guy to the guy that he was talking bad about a friend talked bad about the guy and then you send it to him the back thing has been going on for months already and we still did stuff with him which made zero sense to me now he is gone your friend talked bad about the guy, you sent a video to the guy, you still hung out with the guy that you were talking bad about, he knew that but still hung out with you guys, that's, that's what I understand. And it still went on for months, which I don't understand why, why did he still hang out with you guys? And you still did stuff with him, which made zero sense. Why didn't you just then tell him not to, or why didn't you just warn him, I don't really understand. Or you didn't want to war, you didn't, so he hung out with you even though he knew that you guys talked bad about him, then he's kind of a loser, why does he do that? He doesn't have any other friends, which means he can't get any other friends. But now he's gone at last, I guess he got, it was too much in the end. Hey, he was a loser then, for the most, but yeah, why else would you hang out with somebody you don't like? Yeah, he was desperate, for sure, that's exactly what it sounds like, absolute desperation. What's up with that anime haircut? Uh, I didn't get a haircut. It's just... Well, it's a hairstyle, if anything. It's not cut, but yeah. Do friends exist in nature? Of course, of course. Well, your family would be your best friends, but still. Of course you need people to trust, but it would be no problem naturally. Why wouldn't you trust somebody? There would be no reason for somebody to backstab anybody. How your body can detox when you are around 20. Huh? I don't get it. The fact that he's triggered by junk food while some while some people some people then don't suffer from it while eating garbage. Ah, uh, that's simple because they're not detoxing. Uh, yeah. Um, the like the pathways are basically closed, and uh, yeah, well, that's really the simplest way to put it. Everybody who eats garbage, I mean, some people also detox, obviously through urine and so on, but all we all do anyway. But yeah, some people just it's stuck in their bodies, and they get really sick from it. You're you're you should be happy if you have acne. You shouldn't, but uh, if you eat junk. And you have acne, you should be happy because you're actually detoxing it.
what would you do if you caught one of your followers drinking soy milk? I would really just wonder why. I wouldn't understand. It, it wouldn't make any sense to me, considering everything that I say about it. Then it wouldn't really be a follower. Uh, do any of you, did any of you guys ever watch the channel LAHWF, Losing All Hope is Freedom, the Andrew Hales guy? I was re-watching re some of his videos the other day. I hadn't checked out his channel for years. I, I actually forgot how incredibly funny they were. The guy was really funny. It's kind of bad, too bad that he stopped making videos. Uh, yeah, I guess he went broke, supposedly, yeah. He said he would have a million dollars if he didn't waste it. Because he was making a lot of money from YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I really had to laugh to absolute tears, I mean, uh... When I watch some of the videos. <laughs> I, the, the other day, I mean, I, I was laughing to such tears, like I, I almost fell off my chair. It was so funny. <laughs> uh, he, he, was, he was reacting to his own, own old videos. I think it's called reacting to my, oops. Reacting to my old. Wait, let me. Ah, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That that was it. I, I I'll just show you. I'll just show you quickly. He was reacting to his own old videos. Um. Whoops. One sec. Yeah, he, he was just watching. <laughs> <laughs> it was a video that he deleted where he was uh, pretending like he's demon possessed, and you you gotta look at his face expression. Then, wait, where's the sound? Huh? So weird. I, I, I'll make it a bit louder. What's your name? Right now. And what are your thoughts on demons and possession? I think it's bullshit. <laughs> look look at his face expression look at his face expression when that happens man he he, he can't stand he can't stand watching it himself man <laughs> look what are your thoughts <laughs> no, no. It's kind of scary. Oh my god, man! I, 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 mean, I laughed to tears the other day. It, it was more so because of his own reaction, because of how cringe he thought it was. <sighs> But yeah, the, the channel has a lot of funny videos. I recommend checking it out. Yeah, I also used to watch him, but very long ago. It's it's really been a while. I was just re-watching re the stuff, and I thought it was pretty cool.
the good old days, that was 10 years ago, that was just when I started uh, kind of doing YouTube, my, well, that like seriously started doing YouTube myself. He still uploads videos, but different kind of videos. Yeah. Rick Rodriguez interview. Oh, okay. I, I, I also, I watched those interviews that he did uh, for the first time. I never watched them. I watched two of them. One of them was with a Columbine survivor. Those are also actually very interesting. I was, I was really surprised. Chatting with another 23-year-old stock trading millionaire? That's the Rick Rodriguez guy? If that's him, then I'm going to check it out after. If you say it's hilarious. Best year of my life, I mean, that's tricky to say, you know, every year has a lot of good stuff, but st straight up, I have to think about 2017, maybe was a, was a pretty good year. I was like crazy into raw meat, creating content, doing anti-vegan video, uh, anti-vegan events, feeling really good, like eating only organs. I was only eating organs and some fat. Every day I ate liver, heart, brain, spleen, testicles. That's all that I ate. I felt incredibly healthy and happy back then. You look very healthy. Thanks for the compliment. Also, I was checking out some videos by Vitaly ZDTV, who was another one of those so-called pranksters. I, I thought that some of his videos were also good, but I hated his obsession with the prawn. He was in prawn himself, and uh, he always made fun about, like, somebody's... Yeah, body parts. It was always just like incredibly prone obsessed. That's the only thing I didn't like about him. Still, he had some good videos. He made a lot of fake pranks also, especially in the end. I don't think the, the stuff at first was fake, was it? It seemed pretty genuine and the reactions seemed real, but later on, he, 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 I, I could easily tell the fake stuff, yeah. Well, yeah, you know. I guess it was all done for money, obviously. What else? Money, money, fame, for the most part. Kind of weird how he ruined his life. He could have easily... Uh, his videos just became uh, unwatchable. Jordan Peterson's video about how exercise raises lifespan. No, I have not. Is it like an actual full video or what? Is it the YouTube short? I don't, I don't know, I don't see it.
Ed Bassmaster. I totally remember the name. Uh, is it the bald guy? Really rings a bell. The importance of exercise. It's a short. Um, actually, speaking of, I wanted to start making YouTube shorts uh, here and there, responding to people, like responding to other YouTube shorts. Just like one minute videos of like, just making some points. So, yeah. Also, yeah. Besides sending me videos to review, like big videos, if you guys have short videos, vertical videos that you want me to review, respond to, then also send them to me. Because I'll try doing that. We'll see how it goes, you know. Maybe just for a few weeks. If it goes well, then I'll continue. If not, whatever. Who cares? Uh, so maybe this is one of the ones that I could do by Jordan Peterson. Let me check it. Uh, the importance of exercise. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, no, that's not him. It's somebody else. The, the importance of physical exercise. It's hard to find it. He posted it. When did you say? A few days ago. What? What? What's the channel? Where can I find it? One of the best ones, chickens and craigslist from a farm to use them to feed the alligators. I died laughing. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Can you do live reactions? Uh, I can. Yes, I can. It's an interview with somebody else, but Jordan Peterson's channel, you got it. Also, oh, it is somebody else, so I see it. Yeah. If you're a person. Oops. Sorry. Uh, if it was loud. One second. Okay. Oops. If someone. Yeah. Jesus. If you're a person. Pardon. I'm just checking if it's the right channel. Ah, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll check it out. I don't know. I'll check it out. Uh, maybe this one of the videos I can respond to, one of the shorts. Jordan Peterson smokes tons of weed. Uh, interesting. Uh, actually, sub haven't caught in a live stream in a while. There was also this funny video that the losing all hope freedom guy made. Uh, Um, yeah, I thought that th this one was pretty funny also, you, you know it, Eddie? <laughs> this is fun hanging out, man. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Ooh. What do you think of this girl? I just matched it there. She's pretty hot. Yeah. Oh, you say hi? Yeah, I just write hi. Okay. Yeah, that's like I do that. That's like my thing. You get that from my video? I did like a Tinder strategy thing. Oh, you, you invented just saying hi to girls? The mood already changes. <laughs> Man, I'm not matching with anyone today. Do you think I'm attractive? I'm not going to answer that. No, I mean like on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give me? Stop, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Come on. Please. No. 
Come on. No, why? I'm why? curious. Really? I, yeah. Yeah. Lay it on me. Lay it on, I'm, I'm ready. All right. I'll give you a solid seven. <laughs> I think it's fucked up that you wouldn't just say nine even though you think I'm a seven you told me that you, what are you talking about that's, that's what I think no I, you could have just said nine that, like that would have been like you're not a nine you're a seven like I'm giving you my honest opinion why did you even ask me I you, maybe yeah you're right it's a dumb question yeah. do you want to know what you are no I didn't ask you're nine it was a dumb game anyway. I'm sorry I brought no, it up. No, it's fine. It's fine. Hey. It's obviously a sketch, but it's funny because people get insanely offended when it comes to their looks. So it's it really shows kind of reality also. Your personality makes up for your shitty looks. I don't want to hang out anymore. <laughs> myself and I can call you an Uber okay you got a red Prius coming in about five minutes cool I'll go wait outside <clears throat> all right see ya see ya yeah anyway I thought it was a pretty funny video doing anything for pride month we'll see we'll see uh got this con this uh yeah yeah i know he was uh at, uh uh what was it like britain's got talent or something i know he has a channel also yeah Uh, black pill not really much more I can say about it everything that I said about it I already said everything about it in the reviews that I make it's just a, a more realistic way of um, definitely seeing relationships like uh, interactions between males and females but uh, you know black pill can be applied to a lot of um, situations in life not only like male and female relationships even just family relationships and uh, black people can even be about your mother not loving you because you don't look the way you're supposed to a lot of stuff like that that's a pretty deep topic uh, you can talk about it for ages Uh, the guy in exercise video claims that death rate goes down by 50% after 3 hours of exercise per week. Needs a debunk ASAP, I count on you. Does he, does he just say that? Does he base it on something? Or like, is it literally just empty words or what?
based on studies, but he doesn't show any studies or name any. He just says based on studies, yeah? The stream is recorded. Uh, I don't know really what you mean. You can see it afterwards if that's what you mean. It's it's gonna stay. It's gonna be saved. I'm pretty sure he doesn't show the study. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess he just tells people what they want to believe, probably. Uh, not really much to debunk there. I mean, the way I would react to people like that is probably just kind of make fun of them. I don't know. We'll see. Can't really say right now. Yeah. I mean, basically, my idea, my idea was, like, when I make my reviews, on top of that, or another day, maybe, maybe it's too much, probably, on, maybe another day, I'm going to just sit down and record, like, quick reactions to some shorts. Uh, the reason I wanted to do that is because YouTube shorts get a lot of views, so even though if you monetize them, you don't get really any money out of them, but uh, it's just to get, like, views and subscribers it's 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 easier with shorts to reach people because a lot of people watch youtube shorts and you get them randomly recommended to you Is it healthy to promote Adidas when you hate working out? Oops. Uh, oopsie. Actually, it's too, yeah. <laughs> It's better. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty logical. I I agree with you. Uh, the reason I bought the uh, Adidas uh, jacket is it, it was a joke. It was supposed to be a joke. I bought it in France. I was looking for it when I had my shaved head. Because I was trying to imitate like a, you know, like a Eastern Russian European. It was a joke. It was supposed to be a joke. Then I kind of liked it. I like the stripes. Like I like the black and white. Uh, I still, I still wear it as a joke, though. Uh, not that I care about Adidas or like it or something. Uh, do I only wear natural clothes, clothing? Well, obviously, the Adidas was a good example that I don't. But uh, ideally, organic cotton, for example, I think is pretty good to wear, from what I know. Polyester is bad, for sure.
100 grams of raw beef liver per day. Is it too much or too little? I would say that's just about right. Why the carnivores on YouTube look so old? Like who? Sean Baker. Sean Baker works out a lot though, like over the top. How old is Sean Baker? Let's see. Sean Baker age. Uh, Twitter today I turned 55. That was last year, January. So now he's 56. Um, okay, I did think he's like more around 60, but okay, it's four years before 60, so he. I wouldn't say he doesn't really look his age. Modern age, like, you know, humans in nature look a lot younger, yeah, but... Uh, the only thing I would say about Sean Baker is that he looks... He... To me, he always looks red. That's, that's the only thing I notice about him. I, I don't want to say anything bad about him, you know? I, I kind of like the guy. I definitely don't have anything against him. But yeah, he his face is red. Uh, he always looks. It's like it's not from a sunburn or something. That's that's the thing. Like that's why I'm afraid he's gonna get like a heart attack or a stroke, eventually. Again, he's incredibly red, in pretty much every video. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the only thing about him. I'm just checking something out. Wait, where is that? Nah, anyway. Uh, 
<laughs> Somebody said, why do you use filter in your clips? But uh, 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 Prussian, I think, uh, had removed it. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. You can keep it. I, I, I've heard like two or three people say that in my videos also. I, I, I mean, I see it as a compliment, you know. I mean, they probably think I'm while I'm live streaming through my camera, I'm also using some kind of filter right now, you know. Like, why does his skin look so good? Like, it must be a filter, you know? I mean, look, there's, you know, like, I, I, I don't even know what kind of filter they think I'm using. Like, it's, I, I don't even understand. It's literally just my natural skin color and everything. What kind of filter can I even use? But yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> you, I don't even think that there is such a thing as a filter on OBS. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. There's no filters on uh, Sony Vegas, which is my editing program also. What type of moisturizer do you apply to your face? Nothing. Never applied anything. You, you eat raw fat and you go into the sun. You don't eat junk food, you don't get acne, eczema. That's normal, that's how your skin is supposed to look like. There's nothing like surprising about it. If I don't get sunlight, well I do, but if I couldn't, like in very harsh winter, my skin get, does get dry. Um, yeah, but that's, that's, I think it's pretty natural. Well, it isn't. Well, it is, but you should be eating a lot of raw fat in nature. Um, 80 year old farmer by Dr. Cheffy. I don't even know who that is. Uh, I don't watch that kind of stuff. <laughs> Having an uglier partner for more stability and trust as a guy. I, I, I don't think. <sighs> like, yeah. You mean a girl? Yeah, she may really adore you, but. Uh, I don't think so. You're just going to be using her and really it can't end up good. Uh, you you may end up leaving her just because you think she's ugly. There was another comment which was removed. You didn't, you didn't have to remove that. Aren't you the guy that got schooled by vegan gains years ago? <laughs> I mean, that's funny. You don't have to remove that. You know, it's it's stupid. Uh, and even all of the vegans admitted that I own Vegan Gains in the debate. I've never talked to anybody who thinks that Vegan Gains won the debate. I literally proved to him the plants don't have over 15 micronutrients, and he had no response. He had to admit in the debate that veganism is malnutrition. Why does your face look like you put something on it? Have you been sweating? No, it's not sweat. It's natural, right? That uh, if, especially if you're in the sun, I was sunbathing today, um, and you eat animal fat, that your skin uh, is like kind of shiny. I thought that that's normal, and people give me compliments for that. I think that that's the kind of skin people want to achieve by using. Uh, fake moisturizers and stuff. They're trying to imitate how natural skin is supposed to look like. Currently living in the UK, I have enough money for my business to build a farm, but I'm gonna stay in this brainwashed island. Where would you Personally, go if money wasn't an issue. If money wasn't an issue, I would go to somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Like, I don't know. Like, wasn't Aushinus living in Thailand or was he living in the Philippines? I think he was living in Thailand because he died in Thailand, right? But there was always conflicting info. He was also in the Philippines a lot, so I don't know, but. I, I just can't say anything because I've never been there, but I think Thailand could actually be a cool place. 
Yeah, he was. He lived in Thailand. He had a house in Thailand, and uh, it could be a good place. I think it's cheap. Yeah. Other than that, cheap. You can probably get good good food there if you have your connections. Make some connections with the locals. Um. But yeah, if you want to have, find a wife. Who looks like you that's maybe a problem take somebody with you find a wife and then move there with your wife um, southern europe like greece maybe i don't know canary islands canary islands could be cool canary islands is good food el hierro it's different in spain yeah, that could be good if you're into that. Uh... If I'm attracted to a woman body or body part, does it mean I love her? Yes, that's exactly what it means. Love is biochemical. It's when you are attracted to somebody... Along with that, after words also comes trust and all of that, but overall the main thing is you're attracted to her and that's why you love her. Uh, that's what people don't understand nowadays because they get brainwashed by Hollywood, the Dis Disney movies, to think like it's something else, it's some magical thing. I don't know what the hell they believe, it's spiritual or something. Now it's literally when you get, uh, I mean, you want, when you want to reproduce with somebody, then you love them. If money wasn't an issue, I think moving to Hull, UK would be a wise choice. Yeah, you are you already have the best city on earth on your island. Just go to Hull. So lust is love. I mean, uh, I don't know, let me check the definition of lust. Like I said, after the attraction and everything, you do trust them and... Yeah, there's more emotions involved afterwards, but that's what it's based on. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, lust. Uh, lust is the core of love. Yeah, sure, you can say that. I checked out the definition, uh, it fits. Uh, first super chat by Jeffrey Fitness, but there's no message because something happened, I don't know what. Type your message below, whatever happened there, I'll read it still. Of five British quids, British sterling from the Queen. Wait, the Queen is dead, right? Oh, I was just saying thank you for responding to my previous message, in it, mate. Lovely, thank you, in it. Ah, yeah, about the, yeah, right, I get it, about the money leaving. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know. Africa, I think, is pointless because you're not really going to fit in there, realistically. Although nature-wise, sure, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, South America, maybe. Maybe South America is also good uh, I don't know mm. 
got a girlfriend already too who's not brainwashed so I'm ready to raise a family somewhere decent cool 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 Costa Rica uh, Joey is in Costa Rica right now uh, Costa Rica I don't know man seems cool never been there but seems like a good place they got like this gold and yellow butter from what I saw in the videos Looks splendid, in it. Would love to visit some time in it. It's much better weather than in London. It's better in it. I think the crumpets are lovely in Costa Rica in it. I think so. Um, could check out. Uruguay, Uruguay, Paraguay, Brazil, no, I don't know about that, Peru, been to Colombia, Colombia was also cool, just, you gotta watch out there with the drugs, there's a lot of good countries, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people speak highly about Costa Rica, for sure, yeah, I've noticed that. Why do some movie stars are going to Buenos Aires? I've never heard of that before. Why are you not a hunter? I wish I was, but it's not allowed, fun. Grandparents used to eat the fat on the meat. Did they get brainwashed or what? Uh, what country am I currently living in? That's a good question. Uh, what country am I currently living in? Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you. You guys can guess. If most of you guess it, I'm gonna say it. Which one it is. Like, honestly, I will. But if most people say the right one, so... Um, yeah, Hull UK, for sure. I went back. <laughs> Love 
ਸਾਧ ਕੇ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਵਨਸ ਸਮਰ ਸਮਰ ਕਲੋਸ North Korea that would be interesting I mean which one was the one which was said most it's kind of a little bit split I mean it's for the most part quite off uh so weird um can you give us a hint hint is that I thought that I would hear more guesses from another place which somehow nobody is guessing which should be closer i don't know um there's only one guy who got kind of close it's not even close really it's still kind of pretty far off but I I think you I think you guys can't even imagine probably <laughs> that's why uh, um, Yeah I I I would have said it but it's it's just like it's 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 not really it's it's like kind of getting in the direction but kind of off Yeah you're never going to guess it anyway. Um <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, I think that the number one vote was what was the number one vote place? I can't tell. There was nothing really that stood out. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Uh yeah, yeah, it's 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 not this 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 isn't going to work. <laughs> India. I I went back to where I Oh, what the hell was that? I can't even say it. I'm from India. I I went back home. I went back to live home because I really miss the curry with rice. Morocco I was in Morocco yeah that's uh in a way it's not that bad cuz I was there yeah yeah what language is spoken that's is well it wouldn't help that much but it would help quite a lot it will help to Yeah, it would help too much actually. <laughs> it would help with the area quite easily. End the stream I'm not getting sun because of you. Um just like go on the phone or something. um somebody said mongolia um 
I wish, but um, Mongolia, I was watching a video about Mongolia by the bald and bankrupt guy, that was pretty interesting, uh, there's a lot of Soviet buildings, it looked like Kazakhstan kind of, I think Mongolia is actually a pretty cool country probably, the people seemed really chill. Andrew Tate's mentioned Romania. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it would be too cold, but supposedly Mongolia is called. Mongolia is called the land of the eternal sunshine. Wait one second. Something like that. The land of the eternal blue sky. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know that. I didn't know that uh, Mongolia is so sunny. But yeah, when Bold and Bankrupt was showing it, it was super sunny there. Yeah, you, you can stop guessing, man. It's, it's pointless. <laughs> uh, I still do face ratings. Yes. Uh, totally. You can... Uh, you can uh, send me... Oh, you saw it too? Yeah, and the sky was very blue, like the blue, which is uh, pretty uncommon. Yeah, I also don't see why there would be geoengineering there, there would be no point in such a country. Uh, the population of Mongolia is also only like 3 million for such huge land mass. Have you seen the news about Jamie Foxx? I heard something a few weeks ago that he was in the hospital because he talked out about P. Diddy or something? I, I, I don't remember. He said something which was not allowed and then all of a sudden he was in the hospital. He's blind? What the hell? Um, Jamie Fox Blind Shocking, Jamie Fox was paralyzed blind What the hell? Because of... Because of unicorn? Uh, juice? That's what it says here, or is this like a wrong article? What? No evidence that unicorn juice left Dr. Jamie Fox paralyzed and blind from brain blood clot. Ah, oh, okay, there's no evidence. Uh, it was a fact checking, so yeah. 
I didn't. I hadn't heard about this. This is news to me. Jim, fear during folk paralyzed blind from brain clot. But why? Why would you have a brain clot? Uh, so, wait one second. So, so this is a fact check. Let's check the fact. So, okay then, now we know the facts. I'm, I'm glad that we have these fact checkers who tell us all the facts. Um, do you own a smartphone? I'm streaming with a smartphone. Super Chat by Primal. Why do some people have long unicorn without taking the juice? I haven't heard about that. Uh, I've never heard about it. Uh, but like, I, I would need an article, a YouTube video, something that I could comment on. So, I have no idea what you mean. If you would give me one, I could review it live on the stream and tell you what I think. Uh, yeah, I know that the uh, girl with anorexia died, I actually made a post about it. Uh, how can I send ima image for a face writing? Email me. Send me a tip through stream elements. Email me the photos. Uh, 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, but like, what do you want me to review? Like, uh, like a long article right now? Because there's like a million here. Yeah, I don't know what you mean exactly. So there's like an article from Harvard Health Publishing. Uh, it doesn't show any studies, doesn't show any proof. It just like has text saying that it protects you from it. Like, it, there's nothing that I can say about that because it's just like empty words. You need to be a bit more specific, man. Do you sympathize more with anorex people because of what you went through before you ate raw meat? Uh, it's not that I... You can't really talk about stuff like that uh, in a different way anyway. Uh, on YouTube and uh, do I sympathize with them more? Maybe. I mean, it's more about just the guidelines, really. I would never review a video like that differently. Uh, one out of five people have long uh, symptoms, a lot of, um, I'm just wondering what will be the cause of fatigue, etc. I mean, you know, it's very hard because, uh, like, you know, symptoms, okay, being tired. Well, you can be tired anyway, right? You, you can become sick, uh, you can have pneumonia, for example, and you can be tired afterwards, it's totally normal. So, uh, like, like, let's say uh, unicorn, the number one symptom of unicorn would be that you get like a green eczema on your chest, right? If people who didn't drink the juice would have the green spots on their chest, then yeah, you could say they have, they have it. But we, but when you take like random stuff like they are tired, well, you can say that about anybody. You know, that's like the whole problem with unicorn. People who were who had very normal. Um, nah, I don't want to get into that now, but uh, people who are showing very no normal signs of of stuff that is not related to unicorn, still were called to have unicorn. So. I'm just talking about a book right now, if you don't understand, it's it's a cartoon book about unicorns, but uh, it, you can't just take like random signs of something and apply it to what you want, because you want to believe that that's that's how the whole unicorn thing went out of control anyway. That all of the signs of unicorn were just typical signs of other stuff. Uh, yeah, many cr chronic illnesses can show these signs. That's why, you know, where is like, the definition of what that is? Where's the proof that it's actually the unicorn? It's, it's too, too ambiguous, too... It's not concrete enough. Uh, you said I... 
the anorexic Dutch girl that I seen a lot more genuinely nice. So yeah, you know, maybe like I said, yeah, maybe I was. It's also kind of hard, like you kind of feel sorry for her, right? If you saw the video. A lot of people got, have gotten chronically sick in the past two years, even those that didn't take the juice. Do you have any idea why? Like, I need examples, I need interviews, I need to know what, how exactly they got sick. Because look, if, if there's no actual proof that they have something specific which has never been seen before, then we can simply assume that people got sick, like they always have gotten sick, except that they are now categorized to have long unicorn. The same way unicorn signs were also the typical signs of what you already had. They were just called unicorn. So now they could be called long unicorn, but where's the proof that that's actually what they have? People have always gotten very sick. You know, they were just called something else. So we need absolute proof that all of them have the same symptoms, that it started exactly then, that it has never been recorded before. Yeah, exactly. That's the proof you got to look for. Is this something new that happened two years ago? Has it never been reported before? I don't think so. If you look at the actual symptoms, you're probably going to find, oh, wow, that's old. We had that centuries ago or whatever. Well, probably not centuries ago because we're much sicker now. But we had it decades ago already. That's the problem with it. And, uh, yeah, anyway, you also have EMF, 6H going around, uh, that probably doesn't help the blood. Wouldn't be surprised if that causes blood clots also. Interesting about Jamie Fox, though. An alleged source close to Jamie Foxx is claiming some shocking breaking news that the actor was left paralyzed and blind from a blood clot in his brain. Ignore this picked up on a lot of sources radar. Jamie Foxx theory. I, I worked my butt off to get a story about why what happened to Jamie Foxx because it was all baloney what they were reporting. He's playing pickleball. He's uh, responding on Instagram. No, he's not. And people do that for you. It's all lies. I had somebody in the room 
who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the uh, after he got, uh, uh, I don't know what he was about to say, so I, I just turned off the video. I turned off the video because I didn't want them to spread disinformation, okay? What the hell, man? Like... <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm surprised that they allow this content on YouTube, but I, I said it in my last Telegram video also. There's a lot of unicorn content being allowed on YouTube. Uh, I think quite soon, I'm not going to have to say unicorn anymore because it's like YouTube is allowing all of this talk at this point already, but still, I'm going to stay cautious for now. But yeah, seeing a lot of unicorn uh, videos and injuries and stuff, Uh, yes, you can send it to my email, sure, I will respond. Uh, favorite German Fox film, yes, Collateral. Yeah, 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 I agree. That was the first one, I also saw the best one, yeah. Well, the blood clots, when there's poisons, almost always, like, even, it doesn't matter, like, oops, what, whatever poisonous you eat, uh, you will experience blood clotting, and sometimes if the poisons are quite strong, it, like, even some medications can cause blood clots, like, a lot of stuff can cause blood clots, but the blood clots, as a, it's like a, but the body's own protective, uh, protective mechanism but you know because when it's too much it it can't deal with it and uh, it shuts down the paths Um, anyway. Oh, I didn't know that I was streaming for so long already. I didn't even notice the time passed by. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to be done for the day. Yeah, it's almost four hours. Uh, we went through incredibly many topics. There's really not super much more to say here. Yeah. Yeah. Very good stream. Thanks for joining, guys, from everywhere around the earth. My Aussie mites, my American brothers.
Europeans, British lads in it. <laughs> yeah. And Moroccans, of course, also a lot, but. Ladna, Patsani. I'll see you next Sunday. Same time. You better be there. Okay. Send me videos to review. Also shorts. Thanks for the support. Bye bye.